Good evening. Good evening, DMAC. Captain Nobody, how are you guys doing tonight? I'm just waiting for just my stupid opinion. Adrian will be joining me and later on, Steve LTT. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to their channels, of course, they've been doing lots and lots of research. Um, <clears throat> please go and do so. Adrian's put out some really great videos, as, as has Steve. Two new really great videos there on, uh, not to single uh, anybody out, because they've both got great channels on there, uh, or videos. <clears throat> but there's two new videos from Adrian, and he puts his stuff together so much better. So please go and support both these guys, uh, really busting their hump. So Adrian will be joining me. How's everybody doing? Ian, Alberta girl, Ozzy, what's up? Geeter, critical thinker. How's it going, friend? <clears throat> we'll get to the mystery of the water tower. Um, so there's going to be a couple of things we're going to talk about tonight. I um, want to deal with Adrian's stuff and his new developments and uh, Steve's stuff and and somewhere in there i also want to talk about the uh uh talk about or go through the rcmp intensive um and uh timeline not very intensive with four times we talked about it the other day i don't know if who all was there for to to join me for that but it was a bit of a i took that video down because it was a bit of a fiasco sadly 20 centimeters of snow Oh, my, Ian, that's terrible. Hey, KG. So I'm just waiting on uh, Adrian. I'm going to see if I can go and pick up this. I uh, uh, want to collaborate with you tomorrow and Ocon. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're, we're going to get to this stuff. We're, it's, getting, it's getting some momentum, right? Apparently, there were some uh, protests Steve was telling me about down on the East Coast, uh, or not protests, but people coming out really and showing solidarity for one another. Um, and people know that it's, this stinks, right? I mean, there's clearly a demand uh, because uh, lots of people are digging and doing the research like you all and um, trying to support, uh, it's great support for Terra, right? And all those people down there. We've got to stick together, friends. Um, let's see if we can find, I got to get that. I think it's on my computer. Did anybody happen to catch the intensive? Uh, okay. Between all this Tweety Twatters and I swear to God, I'm going to throw all this tech in the garbage. Does it, does it not get to any of you? I hate it. Can you send me the link? I did send you the link. Oh, well, it's over there. Blah, blah, blah. You never know which way is, or I don't, I don't know which way is up user error as was seen the other day majorly um on your twitter twatter okay hey mike what's going on well at least the snow will keep the mosquitoes in control right yeah I don't know. This thing, whole thing smells really bad. Did you notice they fired uh, or didn't have the same press guy come out? They have a new press guy. They kept the, the lady, but they have a new one for the female side. So, or for the male side, they got rid of uh, Leatherman. Leatherman, I guess he, he cracked under the pressure. He wasn't doing very well on that, that other one. But if anything I've seen in the past, I don't think you're going to hear from the RCMP too much now, from now on. I think you're probably going to hear a lot of written statements. And uh, hopefully, let's see, did he get the link? I did send it. Oh, try again. Why did it not send? Try again. Red. 
No cell phone or microwave for me. Now the media is the only one pushing person grocery shopping per week based on last name this this is really like the communism is coming eh? i was thinking about it you know people are lining up for the food do you remember do you remember in the 80s when we watched tv those of you who are that that age or or older the the russians lining up at the uh at the little uh bodega type grocery stores that they had and there would be like a few cans on the shelf i'm sure some of that was just propaganda warfare but you know, they were just standing in line for the few cans. Here we're doing the same thing now. I mean, it's un unbelievable what we've stooped to. The communism is in full effect, rolling it out. All these small businesses are going to go out of business now, of course. Like, that's a no-brainer. Uh, Leatherman. Leather is, is a puppet. Yeah, he's a puppet. Absolutely, absolutely. So I'm glad that we got somebody new. But I mean, this guy, he seems to be far more schooled in how to speak um, public relations. And public relations and propaganda are the same, uh, the same beast, right? If anybody knows Bernays, Bernays is... Uh, was the father of public relations, but also wrote a book called Propaganda, and his uncle was Sigmund Freud. Psychological warfare. All right, so we got uh, Just My Stupid Opinions going to jump in here. How's it going, friend? Hey, doing, hey, doing well, well yourself? yourself? Still, still here, still here. Unlike Leatherman, we were just talking about how Leatherman got the demote. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't really surprise me. I mean... The guy was doing a absolute horrible job at trying to answer the press's questions. He ended up, uh, he was nervous, sweating bullets, you know, probably crapped his, his pants. So it, it doesn't surprise me that they moved him off for whoever this new guy is. I don't remember his name. Yeah, he's a real clown too. I, well, not clown, but he, he's actually far more subversive, I found. Uh I was going to I was going to play that but I don't I know your your schedule is tight so um what let's get to what you um or I don't know that it's tight tight but I don't want to keep you obviously past your bedtime maybe maybe the the wife might get mad right so so what, we're not going to 4 in the morning again well I'll go <laughs> I, I'm okay it's it it's it's like the comment you and I were laughing earlier. Uh, the comment that somebody left that said, uh, "Quick update: six hours." <laughs> Lol. Like, but I don't think these things can be told quickly. Sadly, not without glossing over a lot of detail, which is the unfortunate part because everyone wants everything wrapped up in a quick five ten minute video, but it's really difficult to do that. I mean, and I put out a video earlier today and that was supposed to be another one that was like maybe 15 minutes long. I think it was about 50 by the end or something like that. 48 minutes by the end of it. So as much as we want it to go quickly, it, there's just too much detail to go over. There's too many unanswered questions. So I don't even know how many hours we've put in just this past week to, talking about this topic. Probably close to 20, maybe more. Yeah. Well, yeah, no. I, I, so everybody should be subscribing to your channel and check out those videos. Because um, if you, it is far more succinct than, you know, these really long streams that uh, seem to end up over here. But. Uh, you know, those are kind of more investigative type things and, and you've got it really condensed and, and always do such a great job presenting stuff. Um, now I've, I got a first address. Hey, East coast. Can you tell my house was built in the seventies with this God awful wooden paneling? I, one of these days I'm tearing this thing out and I'm putting up some proper walls one day. I like it. It's very seventies. It is, but there's two problems. One Airs, these are actually six inches off of the concrete wall itself, which is kind of annoying, to be perfectly honest. Two, it is horribly insulated. It is goddamn cold in this basement. Oh, no. <laughs> so there's got to be real work put into this house. But uh, well, 
that is basement paneling, you know. I, my grandmother had basement paneling like that. I think I think everybody did. It's pretty I'm awesome. living in a grandma house. Sorry? Oh, boy. I'm living in a grandma house? Oh, boy. No, no, no. I'm just saying that my grandmother had her basement also done up the same way. <laughs> um, okay. Hey, Defend. Hey, East Coast. Uh, now, let's get to some some meat you 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 went through a lot of things i don't want to uh i don't know how you want to sum up what or if you what you want to go through like i said everybody's got to go over there subscribe and watch those videos share them with your friends uh can you give us uh, a rundown where you're at now well uh when i've kind of looked over the, the details now i've I've actually found that I'm left with more questions than answers. Uh, there's a reason that we're going to get into in just a minute that there's a reason that this is, this video's title is called The Mystery of the Water Tower, which is going to be coming right up. And I, again, I have more questions because when I was reanalyzing the area where we think that Heidi Stevenson was killed yesterday, mm -hmm. I, well, I was left with... Uh, I, 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 the logic made even less sense than, to me because the whole idea was that he just ended up, uh, that Wardman ended up just shooting uh, Morrison, her partner. And right. then the appropriate thing for someone to do would be to, would be to then if they're taking the off ramp to take the appropriate off ramp, right? Like even if you're on the run from the cops, this seems like the logical thing to do. Instead, he ended up making a left turn goes into oncoming traffic and then proceeds the wrong way down the proceeds the wrong way down the off ramp and to where he apparently had a head on collision with Heidi Stevenson even though when you see the photos of the two cars there doesn't appear to be there, there doesn't appear to be any actual damage really done to the cars like the hoods uh, the hoods of the cars or anything like that so I found that the more I've looked into it, I'm actually more confused now than I was a couple days ago. Now, their their latest theory that they've they've stated, they've removed the pit stop part of yes. this, which is rather interesting because they spoke at length about the pit stop and how how the officer, which wasn't named at the time, had to phone in for the pit stop or sorry, the pit maneuver. And it was granted because this is something above and beyond their regular uh, maneuvers, apparently, like they have to get permission for it. That's been removed and has now been replaced with there was a head on collision between Stevenson and Wartman. I looked at the cars uh, and I have found damage on the hood of of Wartman's vehicle, what is believed to be, I think, Wartman's vehicle. However, it's very, um, it, uh, Stevenson's car isn't damaged at all on the hood. So that simply doesn't make sense. It's not damaged on the hood, which you figure it would be at least a little bit if they were having this head on collision. Um, and the thing is, from Wartman's car, it looks like he actually hit the front of his car, went into the guardrail. So that could actually make some make sense why he might have a little bit of damage there. Another thing, actually, that's worth questioning is that uh, I'm sure we're going to play it in a couple of minutes. But there was a new video from a different angle that came out where the people who are witnessing it ended up saying that it seemed like they were kind of yelling back and forth with the, the cops over there. And which may explain the cops going into the ditch on that original video we saw, possibly. But now they're saying that the two, those witnesses were saying that these two cars here was not Wartman's car. And in fact, it, from the sound of it, it was probably Stevenson's and Morrison's car. But now that story's been changed. And even the time so, frame. Sorry, sorry, back up. I haven't heard anything about the Stevenson and Morrison crashing. Uh, no, it was the, you know, the video from Facebook. Uh, which one? I've seen a few. <laughs> oh, it's the, it's the one from the, where it looks like the people are taking the video from the gazebo. Okay, yes. Well, when, I mean, the video is pretty crappy, but you can hear the audio. At one point, whoever's taken the, whoever's taken the video ends up saying that the two cars that were on the highway were in fact two authentic RCMP vehicles and were not Wartman's car. 
So that kind of yeah, that to me, I had to do the double take for that, and I thought that was kind of interesting because it sounded like they may have just been yelling back and forth with the cops that were over there, or like the cops are kind of communicating because they were told that they wanted to, the RCMP wanted to use these civilian vehicles to block the, the ramps so nobody can get on or off. But then they end up saying that these two cars are authentic RCMP vehicles. I still got the link here so we can check it out at any point. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that might make sense. That would fit the timeline a lot better because that would remove him having this crash and the lighting the cars on fire and running around and shooting her. And then the if you have the uh, SWAT team coming in and then mistakenly shooting Stevenson uh, after this head-on collision with Morrison, they don't know what's going on. That, I mean, that's that is definitely it's interesting. That could definitely be a possibility. Yeah, that to me was where I I like again. That's where some of my confusion it came from. And then there's also these new photos they, that were taken from a different angle where there's this water tower, or it's a, it's either a water tower or a green elevator, but I'm pretty sure it's a water tower in the background. And that almost looks like we have two off ramps off of this highway, um, which I can I can actually just pull it up here. I'll just share my screen real quick because I got Google Earth open. It's a lot easier to show than to explain. Uh, okay, I'm just sharing my screen. All right. So as we can see here, we've got the two off ramps. Now we got this part over here where Stevenson was killed, and I think you guys can see my cursor, eh? Yes. Okay. So the water tower is somewhere off in over here. It's somewhere in this background over here. And from the angles that they're taking of this, um, of the pictures, it almost looks like that it was around here, the other side of off ramp where this ended up happening, or at least there was some doctored image to make it look that way. Cause I was kind of toying with that theory too. Okay. Let me see. I know that if I go to a certain point in here, I can see it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, so you can kind of see it there in the background. Yes, there you go. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty far away. It and does. And yet, in the photo here, it looks pretty damn close. And then there's all these houses that are over here. It looks like this picture was taken from a completely different angle. Like from a de completely different spot, even from the past pictures we've seen, even from the video that we had available to us, you could see that there were trees everywhere. So now I'm kind of quite, I'm questioning, like, is, is this could very well be the same video? And maybe it's a trick of maybe Google Earth's kind of screwing with me. Maybe it's a trick of the camera angle. But now I'm starting to question whether this is, has the situation changed? Have we had a, have we had some doctored images going around? I'm not sure. Um, now, the um, gazebo, you and I were talking off air about the gazebo mm -hmm. and the gazebo video. Um, I got that. Thank you for sharing that as well. Let's bring that up. Um, okay. No, that's not that. All right. Um, but we, here we can see... the the I'm, balls we can kind of see i guess because it's not um I, can i get my resolution to go bigger there's this gazebo off here in the corner i think i have another picture of the gazebo somewhere here the gazebo yep can we see the gazebo on google earth yes we can yeah. okay so do you mind uh, bringing back up your Google Earth? Yeah, no problem. Let me just get down here. It's about there. Oops. Uh, Howdy, Stephen. And good day. What's up? <clears throat> so we can see the gazebo right here. And it seems like, I don't even want to call this a parking lot, but this gravel here is where on that f the Facebook video we're talking about, 
this seems to be where they were taking the video from when they were talking about uh, the cars being Morrison's and Stevenson's. But we got the gazebo right here, and you can see the water tower in the background. But yeah, one thing that I question is because for let's say we go in right behind the gazebo, it looks to be somewhere around this area right here where the crash took place, roughly where the the hood of the gazebo, where the point is. Right. But from the other picture, it looks like we're looking sort of off in this direction, which appears like it happened on top of the bridge over here of Highway 2. Right. Or it's happening on the other off ramp. So that's where the picture has me confused. But we can confirm with the gazebo where it's supposed to be. But yeah, that's it. That's it right there. Now, um, Ian brings up a really good point here. I, I you know, and 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 I was saying if I lived down there, I honestly like would just drive down there. I'm wondering if somebody in here does live in this area and knows where the scene is because I, I don't think I don't think with the uh, the fire uh, that's going on here. I mean, obviously, this lawn is burnt up, um, and the police have been over there cleaning it up. There must be evidence of exactly where this is uh, taking place. There must be somebody down there who can who can go down and figure out exactly where it is. Is that? If we can find someone, I'd love them to do that because I'm I'm a little bit at a loss with this with the this. Um, water tower right now how it kind of not that it fits into the picture but it paints a different picture if you ask me and it's just from the first video that we saw we saw that and we kind of we did trace back like where the do not enter signs were it seemed like we were dead on the money and now it's starting to make me double quite it's making me question that again or at the very least if it's some doctored images that are going around to try and throw people off because if it's go, if it plays into our theory having to do with maybe Stevenson was killed by the RCMP, I could see him wanting to cover that up. And I mean, you wouldn't even have to go and recreate the image. I don't think you would just have to be have someone who's good with a, Adobe Photoshop, and you could probably make that work. So what 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 do you think? Uh, I'm just going to drop your link here in the in the chat to your channel um, again. I highly suggest you go over and subscribe. Um, so what do you think is, what is your working theory then? Because this is news. Like that actually throws me for a total loop about the fact that this could be the two officers colliding. Cause they even kind of hint at that, that they're going to meet up right in, in the statement. They did say specifically that they were on their way to meet up when, um, uh, when, Wartman came by and that's when he shot up Morrison and as he's he radioed in that he was start trying to get himself to a hospital and that's when I guess Stevenson's picked up the pace and was coming up the the off ramp there or the on ramp uh, but yeah they were saying that but even I'm kind of thinking about it is that the way that we know for a fact and again I'm just going to once again share my screen where I do have other questions uh, okay, so I kind of put on the video, I was assuming it was over here because what this is where things get a little bit interesting is this highway here is Highway 2. This side, this hot side highway over here is Highway 224. This is also right here, Highway 224. So it's a little bit confusing as to the exact location where Morrison was. But my question with this is we. When you have someone dressed as the RCMP going around, I would get the feeling that the first thing when Morrison and Stevenson were going to meet up, the first thing they would want to do is radio what direction they're coming from because, you know, they want to make sure that that's actually them. Now, according to the article and the press release, Morrison saw that the – Morrison saw that um, uh, Wartman – was coming up, uh, was coming up behind him, and because he thought it was Stevenson, he didn't really think much of it. So, but we know what direction Stevenson was traveling. So Stevenson was coming this way. 
And let's just say that it was about down here where where Morrison was. I I get I don't know why he would then think that a car pulling up behind him, an RCMP vehicle, would have been Stevenson's. Now I'm using a little bit of speculation, but I figure they would have radioed in to tell each other, hey, I'm coming from from here or I'm coming from the north, I'm coming from the east, wherever it happens to be. So that had me a little bit had me questioning when I was re-looking at this. But then it's even, let's just say that it was over here that okay. it ended up happening, and then Steve is, uh, Morrison drives up and shoots Stevenson. He then crosses over traffic to go this way, the wrong way, on the on-off ramp. Right. That Why would he do that when he can very easily just go the, the proper route down here? Instead, he apparently crossed over traffic and met a head on and had a head along collision with Stevenson, who was coming up this the on off ramp here. Do, do you see where I'm going with this? Now, was okay. Wow, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just spitballing here. Do you think that the the phoned in uh, pit maneuver at granting was mistakenly granted? to pit maneuver uh, Stevenson's, or uh, sorry, um, uh, Morrison? other, Morrison's car. So, and, and they did actually, you know, get into this accident. And then the, um, I, I understand this is kind of in speculative field, but then the um, SWAT team comes in, doesn't know because they think Morrison's car is, in fact, this This actually does maybe have some weight. So then they come in, they shoot more, uh, Stevenson by accident, and drag Morrison behind the car. This is why we have the, the two bodies business. Are you following? That, that's quite possible, especially because um, what Steve LTT pointed out, and I'm not sure if it was his theory or whether it was Rage in the Cage's theory or whether they kind of came to the same conclusion together, but there was a picture that they pointed out, an explicit picture, which is... Do I have it saved? Do I not have it saved? Uh, hold on, give me two seconds. I just got it quickly. Absolutely. I thought I had it saved. Okay. Hey, Sudo. Hey, Chai. There we go. Yes, Chai. It's um, Shuba Kanati. Or Shuba. I, I'm, I'm probably butchering this name. Shuba, Shuba Kat, Shuba, Shuba Sh Kanati. Oh, now you're messing with me. Shuba Nakati. Shuba Nakati. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like a good, good native name. It's actually got a nice sound. It kind of does, yeah. So Chai says that um, oh, there it is. Li they live close, and, and I don't know if that's a woman or a man. I th I'm thinking it's a woman, but... Hey, if you're feeling like uh, taking a drive out there and see if you can sort of find any clues, or if you want to maybe check out and see if there was some grass that was set aflame, we'd greatly appreciate it. Yeah, because like, that would help us narrow down kind of where we're talking about, and then um, that might actually help um with this kind of ever developing story that they just want to push aside and actually if you have the time and you're willing to do it, what i greatly appreciate is this is the on off ramp that we think that everything went down and i'm pretty confident in that but if you wouldn't mind checking out this other side over here too just see if there's any clues or anything i'd i'd appreciate it but this is the photo that we're talking about over here which i'm sure is people have seen so we got the two burnt out cars. Then there's also a little bit of damage on the hood of the car here, the police car, which it may be attributed to a head on collision, but I think that's probably most likely damage coming from the fire, maybe some warped metal or whatnot. But actually what Steve and rage in the cage point out was this over here at the far right is we got all these green cones down on the ground over here, roughly about the point where that tactical vehicle pointed up. Now, we're pretty confident that those cones right there are, are marking where shell casings were fired. 
most likely, if you ask me, coming from the tactical vehicle itself rather than coming from Wartman or or um, uh, Stevenson. Because it looks like, from what we can tell in past photos, it looked like Stevenson barely made it out of her driver's side before she was gunned down because it looks like there was a a body next to the her in her car on the pat on the driver's side near the back wheel looked like there was a body that, that was there so i'm starting to think that these casings may have come from the tactical vehicle himself and this is being marked out so if we're playing on this theory that the I rcmp may have shot and killed their own constable and possibly right. hurt morrison if this is his car then this might actually be not the nail in the coffin but this is just adding more more proof to it if you ask me yeah i'm just going to flash over here to that photo where there appears to be the body laying at the uh, wheel well of what is believed to be stevenson's car and and we have the the um swat team here with their guns raised so there appears to be then fire from both sides w would would that be correct because there's fire over on the uh the pylons or you want to bring the pylon picture back up oh yeah because there seems to be from the other side from from what is said to be Wartman's vehicle right mm -hmm. or am i getting this wrong because it's difficult to tell which directions it kind of is yeah i think well there's the yield sign in the background does that help it might actually hmm let me see because maybe that's just shell casings from uh <clears throat> the SWAT team. So here's our yield sign, and I shouldn't be on the other side. It's kind of hard to say. It, uh, with that yield sign there, are now maybe, maybe there's. Um, Like where this vehicle is in the photo, maybe that is where the tactical team was. But it's really difficult to say. This is such a weird angle. I'm not even sure where this angle came from. Did it come on the bridge or? Okay, so Chai is asking for the exit number. Uh, the exit number? Yes. Uh, let's see. I don't know well, if it'll stay on Earth, but. I, I believe, I I believe it's a woman. I'm, am, am I wrong in guessing that? I'm thinking it's a woman. Let me see. Um, well, this exit here, technically, you're still following the number two highway. Or you're... I guess it's not technically an exit so much as it is an on-ramp because if we're looking at it... Uh, so here we go. So this street down here is Highway 2, and if you follow it around and keep going up north, that's Highway 2 as well. And it's past this point, this becomes Highway 224. So I'm trying to think of... Do we, can you get do the um, street view? Yeah, there. Are. Excellent. So Highway 224. This is Highway 224. And then if we look down here, this is Highway 2. So two, two, four, and two. Yeah. So it's right on the edge, the corner there. And and we know that it's the gazebo. I'm I'm sure. Well, obviously they're going to be able to see the um, Chai is going to be able to see the burned out area that they were very. I found that I find this stuff to do with the the cleaning up so quickly um, of stuff. Did you you know like you've seen the pictures? I'm sure of of the raking of yep. the lawns. I mean, this is this is a bit. It, it it's also um, like the uh, this picture here, um, where and this this one is deeply alarming, in the sense that this is where the two people. These are the two corrections officers, who um, Wartman drove 
out of his way north to go and kill who knew he knew them they've admitted that he knew them um they died in the house and yet they're leveling the house like right away i mean this is a crime scene and you still have smoldering uh remains the the firemen are here there's another picture in fact where a fireman is actually still um uh, where is that is it this one uh there's a policeman looks like halifax pd oh no that's our is that rcmp it's hard to it's tell hard. from here um there is a picture where there's actually a fireman um putting out still putting out fire and we have the excavator in there so i mean why are they going through and cleaning off stuff cleaning up these crime scenes when you know in in past days i'm remembering that this kind of stuff took uh, a very long time to clean up you know you would you would have to wait till the fire was out then you'd have to have the fire inspector come out then you'd have to have the uh, you know um police crime scene come in and then you would be you know leveling the house you don't level the house when there's still evidence in there well that's just it is that something could have survived from the fire you don't know but if that's the first move you're going to make then it looks like you're trying to hide something undoubtedly i i mean the only thing and i still don't really buy into it it's just if i'm kind of trying to see it from the other side is the possibility that if the structure was unstable, they didn't want it falling on people. But even so, it seems I, I, it seems unlikely. When I look at this picture and everything, it seems like they were more likely trying to hide something than, than they were just worried about it falling over. Yeah, yeah. I've seen more pictures of just firemen and this excavator then I, I I think I've only ever seen that one photo where there actually is one solo police officer. There's no pictures that I've seen yet, and that's not to say that they don't exist because I'm sure they do, but I just haven't come across them yet where we have like a crime scene investigator team in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, like a, a CSI team or whatever the Canadian equivalent of that is. Yeah, I haven't. that's something I have not really seen at all, actually. I've only seen them court enough, but they don't actually, I haven't seen any of these pictures of them getting involved in, in the building there. Um, and actually that's a good, there's a good question there just by white lightning is how did these people have a head on collision and just walk away? Yeah. Because I was asking that too on uh, one of my videos because I was like thinking about them. Like even if you're going, let's say both Stevenson and Wartman were going 40 kilometers an hour, that's a cumulative speed of an 80 kilometer an hour hit which is going to do damage it's going to hurt but wartman too he just finished shooting morrison you yeah. figure he's not just going to lollygag his way out of there but he's going to hit the gas until he's at least a safe enough distance away and slow down but and stevenson hearing her partner just got shot would have been hitting the gas even faster just to try and get there in time make sure her partner's okay make sure that this guy can't get away so I can't imagine that that little damage came from a head-on collision. Yeah. Right? No, I mean, it, it, it. I don't know. I might have another photo of the damage, but it does it does seem to be quite insignificant on, on the, quote, Wartman car. Mm -hmm. um, that appears just to be kind of, and we can see that the car is facing the wrong way to me, which also, again, leads to the theory of this pit maneuver, which, in fact, was the truth, right? I I think probably pit maneuver rather than this head-on collision because he's facing the wrong way. No, I got to agree with you. Um, if they had smashed into each other, even if the cars had kind of backed up a little bit or something, they would still be relatively nose-to-nose. -nose. But in this case, it looks like... And if they even hit on the sides, then there would have been more of the cars spinning around. But this one just looks like more. Yeah, like I agree. It looks more like a pit maneuver. One car span out and the other one just stopped where it was. But this doesn't seem to be what the police are reporting on. And it's even at the point, too, that here's the thing. Is we have that um, 
that surveillance photo, uh, the surveillance uh, footage. At 10.55, we have the surveillance footage. And he's about almost 30 kilometers north at that point. Now they're saying that about it was around 10.45 when this incident in Shubanakadi went down. Well, Absolutely apparently, doesn't add up. Well, yeah, because this this would mean that he this was take he turned around, went north, and then once again made another turn and started heading south. Because the I checked it out again. We both did actually, but he's heading south in this in this video right here. So that doesn't add up. And even the police's own reports is that after he shot um, after he shot Stevenson, and then he got the car from. Uh, was it Joey Gibson the guy's name, I think? Uh, Weber. Joey Weber. So he got the car from Joey Weber, the silver SUV. They even yeah. said he proceeded south on Highway 224. So none of that is adding up. No, no. This this uh, <laughs> Weber piece doesn't... I, I can't see how he he's taking... So, yeah. Sorry, there's so many things there. The timeline is a big problem. Big, big problem, because you're talking about a distance that you calculated to be, uh, according to Google Maps, a, approximately 40-minute drive, right? Uh, f- sorry, from that area to Enfield? Yes. Yeah, about that. Okay, so in the 40 minutes, he has to uh, accomplish the following things. Have the head-on collision, pit maneuver, whatever you want to call it, shoot out. Uh, kill Stevenson, light both cars on fire with the presence of, it appears to be a SWAT team there, uh, run away from them, uh, carjack Weber and or kill him there and take his vehicle, then drive a short distance to Gila Marteau's house, uh, kill her, yeah. change his clothes into clothes, what, that he brought with him? That doesn't add up. I mean, what is he bringing around a spare change of clothes that he didn't burn up in the car? I mean, what has he got a bag there just sitting beside him? He's like, yeah, yeah. And he's got all these weapons apparently too. Then he's taking that. He's grabbing the uh, red. Is it red Mazda? Because Gila Gila Marteau's friend said it's absolutely not a red Mazda. It's a gray, gray Mazda. And from the photos, of course, in the um, from the big um, whatever the big Shoot. stock or whatever that is called, we're we're seeing that this is a gray Mazda three. And yet, even with all of this footage, sorry, that's actually bringing another component. So, forty minutes to do all of that when he actually arrived there at twenty one after, right? So his time is even less. And this is why I think they've tried adjusting the timeline of what happened at Shubanakati. They're trying to say it happened at 1045 because it gives them more time to get all the way down to the to the the gas station that's down there. Um, the thing is, too, is I think that they're they're relying on two things. The RCMP tweeted at 1140 that this that he had been, quote unquote, taken into custody. I think they're relying on most people to stick to that time frame. You know, they're not really going to look too far into it like we've been doing. So they're not going to see it's been adjusted to 11, whatever, 25, 1120. They're also relying that most people are either didn't pay close attention to the time for, to the time on uh, at the surveillance footage area at that. Absolutely. Uh, Whatever it is. So if he, most people think it happened at 1045 and then he was killed at 1140, most people are probably just going to plug into Google Maps and see that and be like, oh, OK, yeah, I could see how he get all the way down there. Did you notice that the fo- footage that they released, uh, the major news media released, they clipped the time out? You can see the bottom end of the numbers, right? But they mm-hmm. actually cropped that footage to remove that. I know which I find anchor, highly suspect, which and I think their anchor screwed up because their anchor did say you can see that it's at 1055. I don't think he was supposed to say that. I think it was just, yeah, because they tried cropping it out. And then I think while he was just reporting on it, he happened to let it slip because I noticed that, too, when I watched that on CTV. Yeah. And then I was I that had me very suspicious. 
Let's see if we can, can we, can we get, uh, I'm, I'm a bit of a slow driver and I'm a CTV. Um, what was that under? Uh, I'm pretty sure I got it right here somewhere. It, I got it in my history. You know, and I think they're going through and getting that, trying to get this footage, but this happened to leak out this, this piece of footage happened to leak out. And uh, by that point, you know, people were already talking, whether that's over here with us or other people were talking about the, the 1055 component and then, um, or not even the 1055, but component, but we're already talking about it. Then the media releases it. It's like this cat mouse thing, you know, and then mm -hmm. they, they try and clean it up a little bit afterward. And then another issue comes up. They try and clean that up a little bit more. It's not it's not errors that they're having in their story because they have they have all of this they have access to all of this footage um sorry you've linked something in the chat i didn't see here oh i was just I linking to that ctv uh that ctv um footage oh excellent sorry i just thought you were going to bring that up uh copy paste Oh, you Great. didn't know that good news, Bear? Yeah, no, they said that they had Wartman in custody, and then afterwards they came out and said he died. So here we've got the... the oh, they just obtained, oh, they just obtained it. So, see how they've clipped it out. And this isn't... CTV isn't the only news outlet that was clipping this cropping this piece out when in, in fact it's just sitting there on uh, source facebook it's sitting there on facebook it's got the full time on it what are they doing cropping this little piece out it's like they're trying to bury the um the time it's that's what i thought when i saw that that's exactly what i thought they were trying to do which again is why I think their anchor screwed up royally when he ended up saying that it was uh, the time was at ten fifty five. I don't think he was supposed to do that. They were just going to try and show it, and then the police and the media from there could just orchestrate the timeline any way that they wanted. Well, this was actually at ten thirty or ten twenty or something like that. So uh, again, uh, I'm just going to sorry. It's kind of all over the place, but. How does he get the change of clothes? Where does he get the change of clothes from? Um, I have no idea. The uh, Here's the thing. It's possible that Gina Goulet or something, Gina had maybe if she had a boyfriend or something, she had um, some men's clothes there. But even then, like, that's a, that's a stretch. Personally, I'm really hoping that he put on like one of Gina's like dresses or something and tried to make his exit that way. But either than that, I really don't know where he would have gotten this change of clothes from, especially after what happened with Stevenson. You figure the first thing he would have done was try and get the hell out of there. Morrison already called in that um, Morrison already called in that he had been shot and where he was. Then he gets slowed down by Stevenson. He's got to burn the cars. Uh, my guess is he just would have been grabbed whatever the hell he could and gotten the hell out of there. He wouldn't have been hanging around. He's not gonna. He's not gonna play hopscotch on the side of the road. So yeah, I'm. I'm want to know about this too. So I've tried to find because there was originally the footage. I tried a lot last night trying to find the footage of the undoctored, unblurred image uh, images of. And there's actually some really good uh, angles, funnily enough, out there uh, shot from the side of the gray Mazda. So you can actually see his full body. It's blurred out, but somebody has those photos out there that are undoctored, which we can see what kind of clothes he was wearing. Is he, in fact, wearing the police uniform? Because this seems absolutely preposterous that this man who's burning up cars and things even thought to himself, you know, bring a spare change of clothes. Uh, I, I don't know. And then grabbing the bag with the clothes. If he goes to Gila Marteau's, how does she have clothes for a guy? Again, it's unlikely that she did. I, the only thing I can think of is possibly she had guys clothes there if it was like a boyfriend or something. 
but I highly doubt that 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 that's what ended ended up happening. happening. So So, the other thing I'm kind of wondering wondering is what reason do they have to say that he ended up changing out? It doesn't change the circumstances leaving up to that point. So what relevance does it even have? Well, because what pers- what clothes is the person wearing at the um, at the gas station if he in fact is wearing civilian clothes and lying there in civilian clothes and yet we are being told about that was another thing that they admitted to in this um, statement was multiple multiple uniforms authentic uniforms not fake but real authentic uniforms which is illegal to have you cannot have them retired rcmp uh people apparently cannot dispose of these as they're trying to to say um and we then have this business about the uncle who is a retired rcmp officer Are we talking about friends here? Is he getting the clothes from the RCMP officer? Of course, the RCMP haven't mentioned anything about that. Um, So I think it is of import because there are people there who literally took pictures and all of this stuff. And there has to be photos and or video of him that has not been blurred out somewhere. I would like to find them. So if anybody does know where those are, so we can see what kind of clothing this individual is wearing and the thing is too about the uncle is that he also had friends that were involved the rcmp as well as CSIS. now you can make of that as you want but i think it's kind of an interesting point to bring up it it seems most likely that he would have gotten this the uniform off of his uncle if anyone else or at least maybe he knew some friends that were willing to get rid of it but now they're also they're saying, saying that, that he owned up to, to, I think it was four, four police, police cars, cars now. now. Yes, four. Four police cars, which they say they were aware of three. This was a huge lie. Huge lie. I, I want to try and get to some of these because there's great comments coming in here and questions kind of, and we'll try and address those. Remember, um, everyone, they this guy was unknown to police before he did the shooting. That is absolute shit. Yeah. That is absolute shit, and it's absolute shit that they didn't know. Let's see if I can get that video. I think I got it queued up, but where did I have it, though? Um, Was it this? No. I'll try and find it. Give me a moment. Of of where they admitted. I can definitely find the news articles, because then I started to try and go and find the news articles, and I was able to trace down who... In fact, this man was, his name is Donald Walker, who was a friend of, a friend of, um, of uh, Wardman's. So let's just use the news article. I do, it was originally the CBC that tipped me off, and then it was the only reference I heard to it. Um, Let's see here. Okay, so he, quote, he didn't hide this vehicle, Nova Scotia, killer's fixation, with police was on full display out of the star. Um, Donald Walker's family hired Gabriel Wartman in the 90s to work at their funeral home business before he switched careers to become a denturist. Walker, a former alderman in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, told the star on Wednesday that Wartman had proudly shown him pictures of the vehicle. Quote, he didn't hide this vehicle. This car was not like in a garage where he was secretly making it, Walker said. Quote, I was aware, well aware of the police vehicle. He was very proud of that vehicle. He told me he wanted uh, to go to car shows, take it there, show it off. My fun time is sailing boats. That was his fun thing. Uh, and then he makes reference to the authentic, real RCMP uniform again. Uh, Chief Superintendent Chris Leather said Wednesday... Police found out about the replica vehicle as well as, in this point, this is at this point, it's one vehicle, right? So this is uh, an older article where leather is even still in the picture, as well as the uniform the suspect was wearing. Again, singular uniform, singular car. Leather also disclosed uh, Wednesday that the RCMP, uh, sorry, 
Uh, Superintendent Leather said Wednesday, police found out about the replica vehicle as well as the uniform the suspect was wearing from a key witness. This is apparently the girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I have to slow down, otherwise I might say her name by accident, um, <clears throat> which wouldn't be good. Um, continuing on, we're in the process of preparing the emergency alert that would typically appear on smartphones and televisions later Sunday morning. The suspect was shot and killed by officers at the gas station in Enfield. You know, this business that they didn't even, well, we couldn't, we were going to do it uh, at some point. Leather attributed the delay of the officials to, in order to charge the state, uh, message, contents of the message. Now, there is another reference to it also. Nova Scotia gunman CBC didn't hide his fake RCM uh, cruiser even from police. Uh, police say he killed 22, blah, blah, blah. He created the car, says Donald Walker once again. Most of us thought it was a bit of a hobby, not something that would lead to this kind of situation. Walker's understanding is that Wartman purchased the then stripped down surplus police car from a government auction site, which of course doesn't really add up to the fact that the picture has a, 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 new, a new sticker in the window. But continuing on, um, and then went about restoring it as far as have the appropriate RCMP decals made by a graphics company, which the new uh, PR guy is referring to. He's saying, well, we, we know actually who, who this is. We're investigating. Everything is investigating. They're never going to talk about it. And Walker says the police were apparently aware of what Workman was doing. He said that he had talked to the police. This is much prior, much, much prior to all this, being Wartman. Talked to the police, the funeral director said, that they, quote, they, that they had suggested to him if he was to take it to car shows that he not drive it on the road, but take it on a trailer. This is a convicted criminal. And the police know that he has the cruiser, so this business that they're saying about we don't know, we didn't know that he had this fully mocked up one, it was just X old cars that had no paint, uh, or sorry, no decals or anything. They knew about the fully marked up, fully done up car, and they just said to him, well, don't drive it around. Please don't drive it around. It's even, it's even a bit iffy. It's washy, you know? That he, they suggested, they suggested to him that he not drive it on the road. Well, even the thing I want to know too is, <clears throat> the person who was doing this decal for his car, if it, that is actually how it went down. Why would they do that? They would know that putting this sort of thing on a police car would be illegal. I mean, I can't imagine them just being okay with it going through with putting all this police decal on when they know that if you get caught with that, that's they could probably get in trouble for that. Yeah. Impersonating a police officer. Yeah. Criminal code 130. <clears throat> One. And two, two, uh, five, five year jail sentence. So this guy who's a convicted criminal, they just bypass that. You know, this fucking, I, I'm actually a bit, it, how is he having this, sway with the RCMP. Where is this coming from? And somebody in the RCMP is clearly dirty. Even another, uh, where's that article? Uh, is it in here? Oh, this guy is telling about the cars. But some of the details were almost too good. One of the mechanics said the detailing, cutting, and placement of the RCMP decals were letter perfect, suggesting Wartman sought help from someone who regularly kitted out the forces' vehicles, the police forces. It's a point that others who know policing have raised as well. Michael Arntveld a former detective who now teaches criminology at Western University wonders if a professional assisted Wartman. Quote, these stripe, uh, strike packages, as they're known, are laser measured. They're done by third-party vendors who have specifications, he said to CBC. Quote, what questions were asked as to why he was doing this? 
what was the purpose of this? Did he tell, uh, hold himself out to be a police officer when he had this done? Arnfield said, asked. These que are questions I think that should be answered sooner than later. So the, when, when this man is standing up there lying to the public, very, very openly lying, and, and then threatening at the end of it, it's, it to me struck me as threatening because somebody, um, uh, and I'd like to go through that video kind of bit by bit at some point, but I don't know if you're up for that or, or I'll do that tomorrow just on my own, whatever, is, whatever it just it fits the time frame about his this statement that they made right the uh, the timeline it was actually a videoed press conference and there is a question and answer period and there's some very interesting things in there and somebody does address this exact point and say where where did he get this stuff from um and how is it that you guys don't know about it and he's like well we, we just didn't know. We, we, we're looking into the fact that maybe somebody... Uh, but he does tacitly admit a lot of this stuff. I'm having a big problem with, with the police here. There's a lot of lying going on. And that's really, more than anything, is one of the most suspicious parts of this whole situation. Because if they didn't know something, they can come out and say, Hey, we just don't know. We, you know, we need time to figure it out and we'll get back to you. But they have refused to do press conferences and give updates. They've refused to answer questions. Yeah. They've shut down reporters who have asked good questions like the guy at Frank Magazine. Yeah. Now we know that they're starting to lie about details. And this is really where the, big, the biggest suspicion comes from. Because what do they have to lie about if everything was done by the book? If everything who, they who employs these people? You see, now I'm going to get really angry. Who the fuck employs these people? Uh, the same corrupt politicians employ these people, is my Who guess. Who pays them? The same people paying off the politicians, is my guess. We pay them. They work for us. There's some a very serious disconnect that has gone on here with the police state. Um, and I wouldn't say this is obviously reserved to Canada, but... I, I don't know if I was mentioning that to you with Steve or not. It, the, the the fact that I noticed in in my in, in Calgary here, they changed the police uh, the police car paint job years ago, and they changed it and they put on and I forget the three words. I think it's courage, vigilance, and bravery. Now none of those things have anything to do with the people. I'm not saying that police, all police are bad, because that's simply not true. There's a ton of good policemen out there. But there's some kind of a disconnect that has happened over the years where policemen uh, and the police institutions are not subservient and understanding that they work for the people. Because, frankly, if I was in those uh, news conferences, which now they don't even have people, it's just done over the phone, so they're pre-screening them all. And uh, Frank, Frank was out. They tossed him. He wasn't allowed to ask any more questions. But I would be saying to them, you don't have the right to shut down a news conference. If we have questions, we are going to get the answers, and you're going to stay here until we do, because we pay your bill. If you want to piss off a police officer, tell them that you pay their salary or they work for you. There, there's there been this disconnect, not just with the RCMP, but with even local police forces for a long time. They've developed this hero mentality of themselves. And along with that, a lot of them, not all, of course, but many of them have started to see the the people as actually the threat, not criminals, but people in general. Yep. And because of that, that's where this big, huge disconnect comes from. Yep. And they start treating people like they would like criminals. You see enough videos of people complying with cops, and yet the cops are still there. Their hand are, are, is on their gun, ready to go. Sometimes people barely do anything, and they're immediately getting taken down. They're getting the billy clubs are coming out, and they're beating the crap out of them. It's It kind of reminds me of 
the big like this i kind of was saying the same thing about covid and all the situation was going on with that but the way that the cops are treating it's kind of that beginning to a dystopian novel or dystopian movie where you're kind of having that that scene where the protagonist is telling you how things got into the situation they were at they start telling you that you know, it started here, it was this threat, and then suddenly all our rights were taken away. And it seems like this is the same thing that's going on, both with COVID, but even with the police these days. It starts out a little by little, until before you know it, you're in a police state, or you're in a dictatorship. Mm -hmm. And this is the, we're going down the path of a police dictatorship right now, mm -hmm. a police state. Mm -hmm. Because you even see the way that it's being treated uh, again, like with COVID, you have couples that are spending time in public that they have cops coming up telling them to, you know, you got to split up. You can't be this close together, even though they're going home together. They're going to kiss each other later. And it's just unfortunate. But this is the way I see it going down. And 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 I. I oh, Michael you? Mitchell, you were asking for it. <laughs> I'm a police officer. Just kidding. Don't at, at me. There are lots of good asking police officers it. out there, but it oh, has yeah. become this adversarial um, position between people and police when, in fact, we're on the same team and we all do agree, you know, criminal acts shouldn't be committed, et cetera, et cetera. But the average person uh, a lot of times is getting caught in this, this power struggle it's not even a struggle. I mean, they they really honestly believe at this point, listen, we don't need to answer your questions. I'll tell you this. It doesn't really matter. You know, what is this? Like, it's the totals. What is this man? What are these people investigating? A dead man. He's dead. We're not going to have a trial. There's going to be no trial. So you can disclose all of the fucking details almost. If this guy is getting guns from somebody illegal... You know, if there's a subsequent investigation that's going on, okay, but you can give us some details. Don't tell us, well, you know, we had a couple of guns and uh, that business I was saying to you about the fucking road. I mean, this they cut the picture so you couldn't see the, that port pick Beach Road uh, and Highway 2, I believe it is. They actually literally on their, you know, fancy schmancy pin chart with no times um, and somebody asked about that too. Somebody asked about the the timeline. What's this gigantic hole? And he he hummed and hawed and fucked around and farted around and didn't even answer anything to do with that. He was like, we were engaged. Well, engaged doing what? But he cut the cut the photo so you couldn't see that there is one way out. And then subtly massaged it by saying. Well, yes, you know there there is one way out uh, of this 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 road, but um, you know, and he he may have gotten by us. I'm like, no, 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 no. That makes you culpable for letting this man out. And that's probably where the first lie was coming from, for this exact reason. And what we're trying to to do right now, because we've talked already a few times about there should be a class action lawsuit. This yeah. is exactly what they're trying to avoid. And the thing is, I really think what they really has them piss in their pants isn't even just a class action lawsuit. They may be liable for for deaths. Yeah. But was the fact that if we're going along this theory yep. that we've been going on. St yep. Stevenson was killed by the RCMP. There's more involvement with Wartman with the RCMP. Yep. Then that's what's really scaring them. Because yes. this is going to show corruption at the absolute yep. highest level that is going to get exposed. Yep. And when it's exposed, then the whole, like, the whole, I don't know what you call it, the whole command structure of the RCMP is going to get struck down. Any yep. sort of relevance that they have is going to get struck down. So this is really what they're trying to hide more than they're trying to save more than anything by lying. If if a lawsuit where they were involved in wrongful death, I don't really think they care that much about that. You know what? They'll just use taxpayers' money to, buy, to pay out the families of the victims. They'll go about their business. Mm -hmm. And this will go. this will go away. And and mm -hmm. and that's what they're hoping this will do. I mean, I you know it may be tinfoil, but I honestly fucking believe 
you know, the, the theory that you can replace news with other news. So what happened with the emergency warning the next day? They finally fucking figured out how to use the emergency warning? Or was it because they released the timeline earlier in the day and prior to newscasts that would have been going out across the country talking about the fucking timeline? Oh, we have construction zones that suddenly are uh, shooting galleries and a man coming out of the Canadian Tire legally or, or, or going into the Canadian Tire determining which kinds of airsoft ammunition he needs with his friend where he's going to legally purchase this and he's in the parking lot, we get the emergency warning thing, boo -doo -doo -doo, and it makes front page news everywhere. And guess where the timeline goes? Page 36. Nobody, yeah, nobody knows. Nobody then asks, says, oh, Jesus, you got a big hole here. You're absolutely, absolutely spot on the money. This is what they're afraid of. It's not the money. It's not the money for the victims that they're afraid of. Who cares? That that's They'll pay that. That doesn't matter. The government will pay it because the, it, the, they pay the police. It is the fact that this will check them. And that's what legislative, legal, the, 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 the principle of the legal and the legislative bodies are judicial versus it's to the, the legislative body will pass the laws and the legal side will clean it up and keep it in check. Mm -hmm. And the, the legal side is here. At, uh, I have advocated that for so long for citizens to use to keep all of these people in check because that's what it's there for. So sue the fuck out of them and make them sit down in discovery and answer the really hard questions where they can't say, we're done with the press conference, thank you, goodbye. Or we're not answering that one. We're investigating. Fuck right off. The guy is dead. See, the other problem that they're going to have too with this is if they're going through discovery, you have a legal obligation to tell the truth. So yep. if any single one of their points that they've come back with if that gets released to the public, oh, you know, that's not exactly how it went down. It proves that they were lying. If they lie during discovery, well, then that's just going to open an even bigger rabbit hole because then if that gets found out, well, now we've got to go through every single little detail that you told us and you told the public and you swore was the truth, but then turned out to be a lie. And I think it's sort of the idea of you're pulling on a string of a sweater, like one of those little string that hangs off, it's going to start unraveling and it may it even leave into more than this case. There may be oh. more going on that we're not aware of. Maybe oh. there's some, it will. <laughs> yeah, it will. I assure you I'll, I'll bet a dollar. I'm not a bad man unless I know I'm going to win <laughs> and I'll bet a dollar that it will. Absolutely. Absolutely. They've got a ton of stuff to answer for. And, yeah, there's going to be other things that are going to come out, but and and you know uh, it's it's interesting to speculate about what are the motives, um, you know what all is involved here. Sure, I think frankly, I think drugs are involved. I think this man had access to huge amounts of cash. I think there are corrupt individuals within the police system that are knowingly helping him with that. But you know, again, that's very speculative. But if you have to sit them down in discovery, they're going to have to answer. They're going to have to answer. And we can get rid of the people. And that's why it's there. Get rid of the people who are causing the problems and have a police force, which once again is responsible to the people. Responsible just like the politician should be. I, you can use criminal code 501 on politicians as well. We can take them to court. The other thing that I, I'm thinking too, is you mentioned that drugs are probably involved. I think you're right on that, but I'm starting to think that there might also be gun running that's involved because how did this guy get the weapons that he had when he was unable to own legal firearms? So he had to get it off the black market somewhere. Now, when we know about his involvement with all the RCMP and what he was able to obtain from the RCMP, I'm starting to wonder if he was able to get guns off i'm not even necessarily that i've been was. saying that i've been saying that they, yeah they get, you did been, you're gonna fucking get find if the uh, the autopsies are done you're gonna find and that's why gila marteau's body definitely is going to have rcmp issue ammunition and that's why they're running around and cleaning all this up because because that's what we're going to find rcmp 
sh uh, issue shell casings. I think, you know, he's off saying, well, he, they're getting these guns from the United States. Mm -hmm. Frankly, probably a lot of these guns actually legally are purchased out of the United States because you can't sell them in Canada. The RCMP get their guns from the United States. Yep. He had one gun, they said, from Canada, which was a pistol. That narrative has been changing too. The guns. The first, it was a shotgun and a rifle. Long rifle. Yep. Long arm. <laughs> And, and then now it's pistol. Mm -hmm. And even in his statement, if you read the statement that you were going through, he says pistol. And further on, he says pistols. And that's prior to Stevenson. So how many pistols are we talking about? How many guns are we talking about? Why can't you disclose that? Or is it the fact that they are RCMP issue weapons? And this is the problem, is that it's going to unravel into something bigger. If he was able to get his hands on these weapons, then mm -hmm. no doubt that they're providing these weapons for other people. Maybe even, I don't know, some gangs that are out there. Maybe they're providing them because there's no doubt that the police are involved with a lot of the gangs. They could shut down these gangs if they wanted to. They're, they have... In many situations, they have more than enough evidence. But I think what they do is they use these gangs to try and keep other gangs, the smaller gangs, in check. And that way they can control them. They can control the hierarchy, you know, threaten them with arrest and taking them off the street and, you know, we'll put you away for life. Or you can operate under our guidelines, keep the other smaller gangs in check so it doesn't get out of hand. And they'll provide them the weapons that they need. They'll provide them the assistance that they need which is an extremely illegal thing to do. Now, I'm only going on speculation, but this has happened before with police forces where they've done this exact sort of thing, and I have no doubt that the RCMP are doing this all over again. They have every reason to. They have everything to gain, and until now, they really haven't had anything to lose. They could cover it up, and that's one of the reasons that they're trying to cover everything up. Ozzy's losing her stuff in the chat, so I'm going to try and bring her in, I guess. All right. All right. Um, and I'm sorry to those of you that's, that, that are bringing up some really good points. Um, I, I'd, I'd, I'd love to uh, try and get to these because there's just there's so many good questions and things like this coming out. we got to get them asked. Uh, I saw about the bumper. Uh, I think that's a great point. We got to look at the the cars in more detail, but the, the police knew about this this shit. You know, like honestly, I sent it to you on your Twitter, I believe, Aussie. Um, so feel free to hop in and drop your two cents. I wish I had. To, I want to figure out how to get a call in type stuff built in so I can take phone calls. We could probably, we could probably figure, figure it out. out. Yeah, because I think I think that's the way to do it. Um, so on on the water tower, is there anything more that you want to add to that? I think we covered most of what I wanted to go on. It was just the idea that he was now in a different position. Again, I was also wondering, was this some sort of Photoshop that was done in order to try and throw off how this ended up going down? Although I think I'm good for now, although at some point tonight, I wouldn't mind checking out that uh, Facebook video where they're talking about the cars and possibly being Morrison and uh, Stevenson's. Yeah. Do you do you happen to have that? Uh, yeah, hey. I dropped the link in the private chat. It's the first one there. Oh, my apologies. No worries. Uh, and if that doesn't work, I have the, the video recorded. Oh, okay. Why don't you play it on your end? Do you mind? Yeah, no problem. Just let me know. Oh, yeah, yeah. There, I can make that work. There's an audio button. One second, let me. Pull I'm actually that driving not too bad today, so it must be a good day. I can't <laughs> believe I did a stream the other day. Like I, it was a good stream too, and I was hammering out details and stuff like that. And then, uh, then uh, after an hour, uh, uh, you know, uh, and people were saying in the chat, "Turn, share the screen, share the screen." And I look at my <laughs> phone, and it says like uh, tons of mes messages. Um, is there an echo? Is there an echo? Nope. Apparently, a wall is saying there's echo. Oh, sometimes or, when uh, when I'm speaking a little loud, it, I will hear an echo on your part. Okay, I got the video queued up. I just need to return to the beginning. Hold on, let me share the screen. 
Share screen, share audio. All right, just let me know again. Uh, let me know again if you're having problems with the audio, but uh, let's play it. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. They're lucky they didn't get shot. Yeah, unfortunately, it gets really pixelated throughout most of it, but it's more the audio we want to listen to anyway than the video. So, okay. people, yeah, that's the only problem with this. I even tried it a few different times. It, it's a problem with the Facebook video. Yeah, sure. Check. Yeah. Well, what do you think he's going to do, Jeff? He's not going to shoot yet. Yeah. Buddy. Yeah. Are you calling to your fireman? Oh, help, yeah. Yeah. What do you want? Block the road. Off. Block the road? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that is something I was wondering about too, is why do they want a bunch of civilians to block off the road? This is something that the police should be handling. You're kind of putting the civilians in harm's way by having them block off the road. They're not even sure yet where Wartman is, but then there's also the danger of them getting hit by another car. I don't know if that means anything to you, but I just thought that was a little weird that they would even ask that. Interesting. Yeah, no. Just something I was pointing out. That's mm -hmm. fucked up. Mm -hmm. Did we talk about They're going to be blocking the road off here in Shuby. No, they did not get him. He shot two cops here in Shuby and took off. He's in a silver SUV. Two cops. Yep. And so we're that the theory of two cops is right. Okay. Yeah, and it's, uh, it sounds like at least from the way it sounds and what we're seeing, it sounds like they're talking about this situation right here. They shot two cops, not yeah. that he was Morrison was hit and drove off. But can he, you, there's what's that? Can you back it up again? Yeah, think about blocking that. the road off. That's <laughs> fucked up. Mm -hmm. Again? They're going to be blocking the road off here in Shuby. No, they did not get him. He shot two cops here in Shuby and took off. He's in a silver SUV headed towards Milford Way, as far as we know. As far as we know. Yeah, apparently this woman had a police scanner in her car. Oh, they were saying that that's fully encrypted. There's no way he could have access to that. <laughs> that's what yeah. they said at the press conference. Somebody asked. You know, I even remember back in like 2008, there was an app you could get for the, like, I think it was iPhone, but even definitely the iPod Touch that you could listen to police scanners. So, but I, I just, I don't know. I thought that was a little weird that she had a police scanner just in her car. But. Do you think yeah. it's safe to drop that Facebook link in the in the chat? Because somebody uh, yeah. was just asking about it. I don't want to be doxing somebody or doing something dumb. Yeah, no, I, I think it'll be okay. Hold on. You have the link, eh? Do you yes. want me to drop it? Yep, yeah, no, I just linked it. Okay. All right, let's continue. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, no worries. Milford Way, as far as we know. Apparently, he shot the two cops. I have to stop my scanner. Apparently, he shot two cops here, and they were seen being drugged out of their cars by some other people that are here. We didn't see them drag the cops out. Okay. We didn't see it. Okay. No, but they're also saying that two cops were dragged out of their cars. The official story is that Morrison drove off in search of a hospital after getting hit. Now, they didn't see it, but there is this claim now, 
And I don't know whether that's coming from the police scanner or maybe them in some communication with the cops. Okay, um, sorry, just before you go on further, um, yep. Ozzy, Ozzy's, Ozzy's going blowing up a lot of stuff here, and I don't want her to have a heart attack or anything. All so right. um, I, to address this point that she's talking about here, um, I that doesn't match. They actually, because Blue Apple did do a very good video. I know she unlisted that video, which I find very interesting, where she blew, blew up the and and that was east coast who said the body is being drugged behind the vehicle like you can clearly see it and yep. she blew it up i can play that afterwards and you can literally see the guy's feet so he's coming from at uh, they drag him behind the the swat vehicle the two people in the ditch i have no idea what they're doing i've still been trying to figure that one out for the longest time because they walk very casually down into the ditch and if we're to believe that uh, Wartman is still on scene, you know, that doesn't add up because they wouldn't walk away from him and down into this ditch so casually. But we'll play that afterward just, just to uh, address Ozzy's point there. Can, please continue. But those are two by some other people that are here. We didn't see them drag the cops out. But those are two actual police cars that are here. It's not the car he was in. Okay. And there it was. They were saying those are two official police cars, not the car that Wartman was in. Now, how do you think that they come to that? I'm not sure, but I'm thinking that it may have had something to do with her police scanner. Now, we didn't hear it, but I'm thinking that maybe they said something over the scanner since, you know, at this point, they're just more interested in communication. Then something may have been reported back to base and she may have picked it up there. So... Is that why he was he was saying at the um, press conference this this kind of getting ahead of things that perhaps he is addressing this video specifically to say no no um, our police scanners are encrypted here in Nova Scotia that's not possible because he did say that in the same um, timeline thing that happened the other day which uh, I should just post it and then um repost what what it was probably they'll hit me with something for that or remove it but but he did he did say that about the police scanners specifically i would have to guess yes because so far this is the only video i've seen involving a police scanner so i could see that as being a big possibility that it was this video in particular especially because it it pokes a big hole in the narrative that that was Wartman's car and Stevenson and that Morrison wasn't present during this situation. So I could see, yeah, that this was actually what they were making reference to. Um, can we decipher the, um, what they're talking about? Like, is it a fire scanner? I, I, I'm sorry. I haven't, I do have that video funnily enough, but I haven't actually listened to that component of the, the audio. Is it, is it in fact a police scanner or is it a fire scanner or something else? Fireman? I'm not sure. I'm my guess is it may just be a general emergency scanner where okay. maybe you could probably hear everything. I'm not sure, but we can go back and see if we can make anything out. No, no, no. Well, it, I'm I'm sorry, my ADD thing going on here, I think. <laughs> uh I get off on 7,000 different things but my mind works like that. Okay, so let's continue listening. He's in a silver SUV. Here, let's go but back a little bit. People that are here, we didn't see them drag the cops out. <laughs> but those are two actual police cars that are there. It's not the car he was in. He's in a silver SUV. Apparently, these two cops tried to stop him. He shot the cops while they were sitting there. And I'm not sure how they caught on fire. Maybe the way, whatever. Cocktails. Well, that doesn't add up. No. No, not at all. I mean, there, there's, there's clearly an accident there. They're explicitly saying that two cops were shot here. Yeah. And then again, it sounds like he was already, if this is the case, if he did take this silver vehicle, it sounds like he was already inside of it. 
Like he was, that's what in rather than he just killed someone because they said that it was right here that they killed Joey, uh, Joey there. Um, I don't remember his last name, uh, but this Weber. Is where, Weber, right? So they killed Joey Weber at this location. He takes his silver SUV and, uh, and gets the hell out of there. But now I'm starting I, to wonder if he already had possession of a silver SUV, if that was all, if that's what he was driving. What one of the things I want to see uh, is all of the fucking body cam footage from these cops. Oh hell yeah! Because I mean, the cert people or whatever the the SWAT team that's there, their footage. I want to see it because I think that we're gonna get some answers out of that one, as well as the cam footage from uh, from the police or sorry the gas station Enfield. That was what I was going to bring up because at these days they have cameras pointed at every single pump. So we would have been able to see exactly what ended up going down, but conveniently they're not releasing it of all things. They don't have show anything, not even him pulling up to the gas station and starting to fill up his, fill up the Mazda. They just have kept it and are not doing anything with it. Probably being destroyed. If you ask me. Yeah, I think they've they've gone and uh, destroyed a lot of this evidence to cover their ass because they they are afraid. They're very afraid at this point. All right. Apparently, these two cops tried to stop him. He shot the cops while they were sitting there, and I'm not sure how they caught on fire. Maybe the way, whatever. Pop deals. They're blocking off the road now. But there's no fire department. That's what I don't understand. There's no fire department. No, they're not. Teen action. Yeah. All right, that was it. I'm um, just to confirm, Ozzy, your your Twitter is uh, Chandler. Is that correct? I sent you a link. This would be very good. Marianne brings up a good point here about I, I've. I think we could get some angles where we can see whether the Wartman car has a plate or not, even though it's burnt up. Like it, I think we would be able to tell whether there's a plate there or not. That's and then we could actually determine, yes, this is, this is Wartman's or, or this is uh, not. And then, then we're talking about, is this Morris and, and uh, Stevenson? Maybe there's something we can see in the um, in some of these photos that we had of the situation. Uh, I I did send you a link. Is it not? I don't know if it's the same thing, but um, when you send me a link, it did take. It seemed like it took a couple minutes because I texted you. I said last year for the link. You said it's in your in in your twitter dms and it seemed like when i went back to check i didn't see it till a couple minutes later well, i sent it again it's not coming up with the box which is interesting i no, keep it's getting not. also uh, failed messages it keeps asking me to retry but this the, it's gone through twice here i sent it 16 minutes ago i sent it again should be there ozzy Hmm. Well, at least from at least from the pictures that I have, it's really hard to tell whether they have a license plate or not. Let's see what I've got. Or maybe from I've got one other video to a fire. 
No, you wouldn't be able to tell from that. Let's see here. That guardrail is a problem for seeing the license plates too, because it's pretty much right where the license plates would be. But there's different angles people are taking. Mm -hmm. That's why we've got the the water tower angle and and the the one with the video versus the cert officers with their guns level or SWAT officers, whatever. I, I don't know what to call them properly. The SWAT officers with their guns leveled. I think SWAT will do fine, even if they're not officially SWAT. Everyone will know what we're talking about. That one's not going to be it, no. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Uh... I'll, I'll search around here on the net. Um, not on the gazebo side, but the far side. Yeah. When you were showing the tower burning, I, I don't think you can see it in the tower burning. The guardrail is in the way. Even, hold on, actually, I'll quickly share my screen because I got that photo up right now. I'm just kind of looking at it. Workman changed clothes, Gina. I get, when I was looking for that, it's coming up with porn hits. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Not exactly what I was looking for. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I'm kind of looking at it now, and it's hard to make out. But okay. I don't... Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, no problem. Like, one of the cars, you still can't tell. But the second car on the right, you can kind of... Do they have to have front plates in Nova Scotia? I don't know. That'd be a question for Tara. Well, and there, uh, who is that that was in here? Chai. Chai lives Oh, yeah, in. that's true, too. There's, I think there's a few. I think it predominantly, actually, the viewers are, are from Nova Scotia. Let's see, police car burning. Is the link not working for you, Ozzy, or or what's going on there, Workman? Oh, God, this mock police car. They've got to sell that out there, eh, all the time? Maybe if I try sending the link to her. Yeah. What's uh, her Twitter? Chandler... Hopefully that's not doxing her. Se uh, at seven three one eight underscore Chandler. Chandler D L E R. C H A N D L E R. E R. Okay, I think I found it. Seven three one eight underscore Chandler. Doing lots uh, of. I cannot. Great research. <laughs> Can't send a DM. Oh, so, so Ozzy, I just followed you. You can either follow me back so I can send you a message or my DMS are open. Just send me a DM and I'll drop the link in there. No front plate says uh, East coast gal. Uh, okay. That's probably why we can't see it then. So thank you. And max. So that's not going to help. I'm not even, and now I'm not even getting hits. Fuck, these search engines are getting more and more hard. Have you noticed that? Yes, I Harder have. Harder to find stuff now. I mean, uh, Google, unless it's something something mainstream, something obvious, you're not going to find anything. We'll try Google and we'll see what happens. Images. That's Stevenson's car. Can we even see if Stevenson's car has a plate? Is that is that because the plate should be located down by? Ooh, that's interesting. 
the pitted car maybe might not have like the actual pit car sorry might not have the plate here's uh I, this is this is a closer version i think more resolution let's see So the plate should be in the middle on the lower bumper. Mm -hmm. But there, oh, there's a muffler on the ground too. Oop. Did his car have a cage in it? A cage? A cage. Uh... I'm not sure. This car, the pit car has a cage. I, I, it can't be his vehicle. I don't think. I mean, it doesn't make sense that he would pit another cop. Maybe. Let's see. Because um, if I'm, if I'm looking at other photos of police cars like here you can see the plate is right in the middle outside the denture clinic you can see the plate they're trying to say that the denture clinic is i think his primary residence eh? have you noticed that too no i didn't know because they're saying that they they recovered a police vehicle from his primary ve residence, which is the police vehicle that they took away from the denture clinic, the white Taurus, uh, undercover, which he hadn't mocked up. But you can't see a, any kind of plate in the middle of this bumper. I I I mean, maybe if does it would the plate fall off? From the heat well there's the teeth going in the van i like that i'm going to save that i wish i had teeth like that i'm going to put them on my house i don't know if it's a coincidence or not but it seems kind of interesting that gina Golay's denturist office was right at that area yeah Right there. Yeah, I was wondering, is that is that where she lives? I mean, are, here, there's another good question, because here in Alberta, you're not allowed to live in your, like, it's a zoning issue, right? And that varies from city to city, but you're not allowed to live in your business. Um, but as you can, you can see, I mean, there is a... What appears to be, I mean, it's a residence that's been converted into a business, right? Yeah. Does, is this a living quarters also? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so, at least not in terms of Gina's office, because I kind of, um, if the Yellow Pages is correct, because mm -hmm. uh, where we found it, hold on, let me, I'm just going to share my screen real quick. So if we're going on what the yellow pages shows here, right, and it's right at the base of highway two, right at the base of highway two and the on ramp for highway two two four. When I kind of plug that into, um, when I plug that into Earth over here, it doesn't look like it would support. Oh, I'm way off. It doesn't seem like it would support an area for someone to live. Here we go. Can you do a street view? Yep. Because it doesn't explicitly say it's a denturist office. Uh, I, need, I need to go up a little bit. But it does say, you can see over there, it's a health center. 
Okay, the death is saying you are allowed to, as long as uh, it's attached and separate, like hairdressers or something like that. Mm. Thanks, Sammy. Hey, how's it going? So it would either be that if this is the case and she was living there, that she's got her health office here on the left, and then this tiny little shack would be where she was living. Um, another thing, too, is actually... When they did say that, whether it's true or not. So she could live there then. She could. Uh, They were saying, though, that after he ended up getting the shootout with Stevenson, he took the car and proceeded down Highway 224. Hold on. Hold on a second here. Hold on a second here. Okay. Okay. So, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go back over here. See, this is not, I'm like, this fucking business about this silver car. Get the fuck out of here. Look at how short a distance he's going. He's literally going around the bend. Yep. And then he's going to take the car, which has no gas in it, because he has to go to Enfield to fill up, and ditch the silver car there, which probably had gas. This whole thing just reeks to high heaven. He's carrying around spare clothes. But I think she he, she did live there. See, my only question was oh, to... Death says that's not. It's not what? It's not where she lived. Oh, and Stephen says... Uh, how does it go in there, Steve? Uh, says that he his friend knows her. I mean, it's a bit... Um, okay. okay. Um, well, this is going to bring me to my other points. They said that... This is so where you, everything. You know, sorry, do you know where Stephen? Do you know where she lived? I go, can continue. Uh, well, here. they were saying that after the altercation with Stevenson down there, he took the car and he went down Highway Two Two Four over here. Now there was mm-hmm. something. Okay, so this is why I have this Gina Goulet's house in question marks is because when you take the address here, one nine eight Highway Two Two Four, when you plug that into Google Maps. This is what comes up over here. And when you kind of look at it, it is seems to be a residence. So I'm not sure whether this is where she lived or whatnot. But it's possible that this is where where he went because they kind of said he came down this road over here and then he stopped at a house on the east side of Highway 224. And this would be the east side, so... I'm not sure. No, oh, sorry to hear that, Ozzy. Um, Max is saying that you can see the gray Mazda if you do a street view. Here? Or you mean? Gina Goulet's business is at 198 Highway 224. B-O-N. He's got the postal code. I think you probably searched by postal code, no? Uh, tell you what, I'll give that a shot. So let's see. B-O-N. Copy. Oh, it comes up over here. Can't really see anything. B O N two H O. Max is clearly looking at it. Max, you want to hop on, share your screen? Huh. Or can you share the link? Actually, Max is not. Uh, what is this business about people? Is there a setting? I don't know why people can't share links in chat. Um, They have to be a moderator. It's going to blow up with, you know, maybe there'll be a couple of people in here who want to talk about aliens or something. The disops. They're always one or two, right? Yeah. 
Although you do want to be a little careful with just giving anybody the ability because there will people yeah. have actually uh, found cases where. Oh, he's saying it's back at the house that you were at. Oh, the original house. The original house. You can see the gray. Is that it, Max? Can you can you zoom? No, nah, not really. It just sort of takes you down the road. Maybe it's the other one that you're at. Can you see a gray Mazda there? Let's take a look. This fucking red Mazda. They're completely, either completely incompetent or something funny is going on. After all that footage, all those police reports, you get the color wrong. Oh, wait, See, this no. is what I was trying to make out a little bit earlier was this car right here. Because you can't see hatchback. the brand. Mazda is a, 3 is a hatchback. Okay. Because that's the Toyota there. Let's go on the side. Maybe we can get a better It looks view. like a Nissan. It's a, it's a sedan. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Stephen thinks she had horses. <laughs> <laughs> he carjacked the horse. I'm not seeing. Maybe maybe the red mask is there. Or is it on the other side? Do we know that's that's the the actual address is right there? Well, that's what it is according to the yellow pages. Because if you put it down here, it's just past the street right here, whatever street that is. Um well Google Maps always fucks up, right? It does, yeah. So it would have been this street right here. On her Facebook page. Let's let's go to her Facebook page. Can you go? Oh yeah, page? that's even better. Because yeah, over here it seems like just a shop, and then it's a church right after her, or what we think is hers. So, hey Shay, I will exit that, and let's go check out her Facebook. It'll be a lot easier. Uh, are you Max? Are you on Twitter? Anybody who, who ever wants to participate until I get the phone thing, I'm going to try and get a phone thing figured out so that then we can have people call in or whatever. But um, if you follow me on Twitter, um, I, I can follow you back and then you can send, I'll send you, uh, well, actually, I think you can just send me a DM. I don't turn that off. I don't, anybody can DM me. And sorry to everybody too who, who's sending me stuff. I, it's just, it's, it's a bit of overwhelming. I try. I try to go through things. Trying. I don't know whether this is her. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, yeah. Okay, found it. I found at least a page for it. Okay. Awesome. Uh, awesome. Let's see here. I think that address we did have is right because hold on. Me share. Oop, wrong. Where was I? Was I over here? Yeah. Uh, okay, sorry. Sharing. Okay, so that's a picture oh, from Gina Delay's Denturist Denture Clinic, which I think if we go back. Did the gray mask look, look, look? It's yeah. in the lock. Hold on. I just want to quickly go back over here and compare. I think this is right. Yeah, I think we got it. Okay, so that's the yeah, that's her house. Yeah, or that's from the clinic, or both. It may be both, possibly. It looks like both. This looks like one of these residence things where you can live and and do your business. And apparently, uh, oh my Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, here, I'll just I'll throw that in the chat. Give me one moment, please. And no, I don't have a problem with spelling. Somebody already took the name. Paste. There you go.
very unlikely the plate would fall off from the heat. The bumper definitely is gone, but that's plastic, right? So that's going to melt. That car didn't seem to have a plate, the, the one that did the pitting. You mean on the front? Um, or the, the back? The, the actually, yeah, on the back. I'm still looking through here. Trying to find, oh, there they are cleaning up the scene. There's the red master. Anybody, anybody who wants to search for the video, video of more videos of fire, and also videos, unaltered videos or, or pictures of, same with pictures of the fire, uh, of the cop cars, also videos of that are unaltered of the big stop, where we can see possibly where what Wardman is wearing. Maybe even a, a plate. Can you see a plate off the Facebook page? Uh, let me take a look. Of her car? Thanks for following, Marianne. Not very well. You can't make out what the what's on the plate. You can you can see there's just that one's there, but oh, where is it? There it is. Got too many tabs. Okay, so how about save photo and zoom? Let's see if we can get a plate. Oops. Oh, sorry. Hold on. The Tooth Fairy was an excellent shot on the move. No way that I can just shoot people, do the planning, race one place or another, set all these awesome fires, show no evidence of anything. Yeah, they, they haven't got evidence of anything. Four times, four, I think I believe there's four times that they list. There might be a couple more with their video. Um, all right, let's see what we can see. Oh, maybe not. Not that's really, much, no. That's as much as you can go. Maybe a little bit more. That's about, that's it. Yeah, it looks kind of, the sun angle is probably not that great. It. I think that's a resonance. So I think it's a resonance and a business. And I think that's where he went. So now if we know that, and we've got that marked in the map, what kind of distance is he traveling from the uh, off ramp to that? Because then we can figure out this uh, supposed course, right? And let's let's have a look at the time. All right, let's plug it into maps. Because we know that he he's first encountered by the police, which is a complete happenstance. Again, they've got they're feeling their ass blindly. They happen to pull up beside him while he's getting gas. That's a total fluke. Okay, directions. Uh, so it's about right there. So looking oh, about six minutes. Picture too. Yeah, I saw a dog there. Yeah, I forgot about the dog shooting. Did he shoot their dog? Her dog as well. Shot the corrections officer's dog. I'm not sure if he did. Quite possible. My guess is yes, because he seems like that's something you would do. That's people, something you do to him. People do bring their dogs to work, I guess. Some, And, you know, if you had that kind of business, I guess that would make sense. I think that's where she lived. So I, I think we're, we're on the money here. Okay. Now we're about right there. So yeah, not even okay. So yeah, for some reason, maps give me this whole loop de loop. It's like a minute down the road. A minute. One point seven kilometers. So summer, he, Weber, Weber in the silver tractor. 
what is the official story that that official story i've heard from weber and the tracker is um weber according to a counselor who's friends with the dad of weber said weber was going into town to do some errands or something and got carjacked and killed and then so i mean it's hearsay but uh i mean are you gonna take a car to drive 1.7 kilometers to just then ditch another car because then he's got to fumble around look for her keys for the mazda right yep where he already had the keys for weber's vehicle and hmm, you know and the rcmp are tweeting out oh he's got the silver tracker how do you how do you know that he's got the silver tracker with that short distance and they updated the tweet. They updated it. They said it was a silver SUV. Then they said it's a silver tracker. So how long? How long distance is it? Or um, timeline? Time between those tweets? Because he doesn't have this vehicle, but two minutes. Oh fuck off! I'm not giving you more. Oh yes. Whatever. These people. I tell you. Yeah. I want to share my information. You're making your stuff more friendly. Uh, RCMP Twitter uh, Nova Scotia Nova. I don't think that because the, the, there's going to be Media clip, I like this. Media clips and interviews on the investigation will not be provided today. Mm hmm. There's no tracker. I, I looked for the tracker at the pump. There's no tracker. I mean, I don't even offhand see an F. A uh, silver uh, SUV. I'll well, stumble to my words on that one. I don't remember this post. Oh, this is interesting. I can't believe they didn't apologize about this. Like, you have to really, really have some serious balls to not apologize. They even shot at their own people let alone the poor survivors of this horrific event, and then they're sh opening fire on them when they're in their apparent safety. Mm. Um, confirmed Chevy Tracker. Okay, so 824, that's 1124, right? There is the sighting of the Chevy Tracker, Suspect traveling southbound on 102. Where's that on the map? 102? Highway 102? Yeah. Hmm. Let me check. And then for... Oh, my Lord. They said that he had the tracker for 18 minutes to drive one kilometer? Um, problem. Problem. I suppose, though, they didn't know that Gina Goulet was dead yet. Okay, so it looks like Highway 102 runs parallel to Highway 2. And hold on, let me see here. Juban Akati. So let's see here. So Highway 102. Yeah, it seems to run parallel. Okay, yeah. So I'm just going to quickly share. Uh, 
So outlined in the blue is Highway 2. And this Veteran Memorial Highway over here is Highway 102. And it seems to run pretty parallel up. So why is he... Where's Gina Goulet's house? It's on Highway 224. So it's... I think it's this one right here. Okay. Well, well hold on a second here. Last seen on Milford. Hot, traveling southbound on 102. What is that in relation to? If he's driving one kilometer... To get to Gina Goulet's house, where's 102 in relation? Because there's only this one kilometer span, right? So it's right over here. This is Gina's house. No, 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 no. I thought Gina's house. Did you pin mark that? Uh oh, that's well, uh, one with the Mazda. Yeah, I've yeah. got this over here. Hold on. So that's Gina's house, which is on which highway? That's on Highway 224. Why are they saying 102? Good Traveling question. southbound on 102. Where is 102? Okay, so right here we got Highway 224 in Gina's house. This is Highway 2, and this is Highway 102. Oh, they got their head up their ass. He's not all the way over there now. Highway 224, yeah, that makes sense. He would be only this short span, the one kilometer span. Because as soon as he goes to Gina Goulet's house, after one kilometer, he's ditching that car. And they said, quote, huh. very short distance. And I'm like, this isn't making sense. One minute. doesn't take, I mean, some who is it? Uh, Deathmatch is saying here, uh, jacking a car with no gas in it. Well, I mean, this is bad luck. Two vehicles with no gas? That's too coincidental. So let's see what it says here. Weber has no gas. He's going to town. I suppose he could be filling up there. But I mean, the 224 versus 102. How does somebody see him way over on 102? Um, 102 is not in the one kilometer span. Do, do you no. follow what I'm saying? He would have to. Yeah, so he would, I guess, the way only way I could see it work is he stopped in at Gina's house, killed her, then proceeded down 224 until in it merged vehicle? onto. In well, that what would, vehicle? That would have been the the Mazda after that. Well, then how is the silver SUV Chevrolet tracker getting seen on 102? A very good question. Because that is way the fuck out of the way. And plus, this is 14, uh, how long? minutes after they said that he was first seen in the tracker time 824 chevrolet tracker time uh chevrolet suv time 18 minutes he's in the tracker to drive one kilometer to be on the other end of town 102 versus 224 this is this is not the, right. The only way he could have done this, if he did not proceed down 224 to merge onto the Highway 102, he would have to go over here, take Highway 2, down to Highway 215, up sort of northwest on Highway 215, until it merged over here on the Veteran Memorial Highway, Highway 102. That's the only way he could have done it. No, 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 no. You're not following me. Well, how is he... <laughs> where is he getting the Mazda 3? He's getting oh. it at Gina's house. Exactly. He only drives one kilometer in the mm -hmm. tracker. Then he ditches it and gets the gray car, which he's killed in Enfield with, the gray Mazda 3. Right. So how is it that they have two tweets 18 minutes apart at a different location, Highway 102, when he's only traveling 1.2 kilometers or whatever, which would take how many minutes to go to Gina's house? That is a gigantic fuck. Is anybody in the chat following what I'm saying? I explain myself very poorly. I don't know why that is. In the 802, sorry, I, you have to add three hours because the Nova Scotia time. <clears throat> Anyway, 
and wait, 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 and, wait, wait, wait. and if we look at this, what time do they say that he's killed? Eleven twenty-one. He's still driving the Chevy Tracker as they're tweeting out. What time did the tweet say he was proceeding down 102? This is 1124. 1124. He's driving the sh silver tracker. He's dead at this point. Dead. In the Mazda. At Big Field. What the fuck are they talking about? So it was at 1124 when they said that he was going down 102, right? This is in the silver tracker. He's dead in Enfield at this point. 11.21 yep. was when they first encountered him. 11.26, they shot him. That's what their official timeline says. Bring up your timeline. Ozzy, I'll get to you in a second here. Your camera's sideways, by the way. I feel like I'm drunk. <laughs> oh, we lost her. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know how to map it out. I map things in my head. I, I'm not a writer. <clears throat> I just do stuff in my brain. But this is not making sense because they say he's way far and gone in the silver tracker, which he only would have driven 1.2 kilometers to get to Genus to take the silver or to take the gray, which they fucked up to say the red Mazda down to. But he's also almost two minutes away from dying at this point when they're saying confirm suspect vehicle scene. What are you talking about? They shot him. They shot Weber, I think. I think He's you're right. At 1126. See, Max knows. Bring up your, your RCMP timeline. It says 1121. I don't have it saved. I, I just have the video, I think, which is a complete mess. And I'm going to have to go through and absolutely destroy, but... But it says on the timeline, which has, what, four or five times, 1121, he is, he, the, the police just happen to pull up beside him because they need gas and recognize that it's him in the gray Mazda, which they don't apparently even know about. Because they never tweeted about the gray Mazda. They didn't know about Gina. How did they know about Gina? That's a very good question. She's way off and gone. According to the RCMP, he's driving a silver Chevy Tracker. He's wearing civilian clothes. Wartman, at this point, not RCMP uniform. This is, this is, holy fuck, man. This is a huge mess. Like, it's giving me shivers. Seriously, man. You look at my arm. This, like... Yeah, whoa, it's going off huge. Big, big mess. They think that he's driving the silver tracker when apparently, apparently, they're pulling up beside him and shooting him at a gas station where he's driving Gina Gallant's car or Goulet's car, which they don't even know Gina Goulet is dead. So how would they know? They're identifying him from the photo because he's not wearing RCMP clothes. That's a that's a very good point. And even the thing is, too, when I'm kind of looking at this at the 102 and I'm looking at the map, there's no conceivable way that he can hit up Gina's, car, uh, Gina's house and proceed back on the 102 in the time frame that they said. No. And the only other option map would be... It, map it right now. Map it oh, right now. I think I got it up right here. From 1055 from the, the from the trading post down to the fucking Shuba Kanadi uh, turnoff, over to Gina Gallant's house, down to the gas station. Let's see what the time is. Because he has 1055 till 1121. That is... Uh, 26 minutes, 26 minutes to do 40 kilometers. What, what you mapped out before was 40 minutes to drive 40 minutes. Let's start out by, just by once again, mapping. And that, that would just be straight driving, no killing, no burning cars, no anything, carjackings, nothing. It's a cluster fuck. Okay. So. 
We're there. He's proceeding on the two. Oh man. Down I, I just wish I, I'm I'm you know had admission to the bar because in this class action suit I would absolutely destroy these people. Destroy them under discovery. Man, you would have made a good lawyer with your investigations, you do. Okay. So it's in my blood, man. Like many, many, many generations of lawyers in my family. Okay, so here is where he was spotted at 1055. <laughs> Don't die, Ozzy. Don't die. <laughs> here is where the shooting of Stevenson happened. Somewhere around this point here, roughly around this area, is where he ended up running into Gina. Somewhere in this time frame right here. How is and he running into Gina? She's at her house. Well, that's why I meant, like, stopped in at her house. Where's the house? Uh, let's go to satellite. We'll get a better image of it. Uh, that's her house right here. Hold on a second here. That's, that's, the, go to street view. You've got the wrong house. No, I don't think so. This is 224? This is highway 224, yeah. Oh, okay. And the gray mass, go, go to the street view just to make sure. Sorry, I just want to, I'm not. I got to switch. I just want to make sure, because you had some other place on there listed before. Uh, let's see. I don't think this one with the question marks is her house because because it doesn't have the gray. Does it have the gray? No, this house. Throw that pin in the garbage. That pin <laughs> isn't her house. The one with the gray. I don't know where you got this from, man. The one uh, with the gray this... Mazda in the parking lot is with the dog on the lawn is her house. Well, that was a photo off Facebook. Sorry? Off her, that, uh, this is a photo off her Facebook. Yeah, but that's not the house. I'm pretty sure it is. Is it? It's got the green. Uh, yeah, it's got the green over here. It's got, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five windows in there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is the same house. Okay. Okay. My apologies. My apologies. No worries. I don't want to get too excited. <laughs> no worries. Hey, we want to be as accurate as possible anyway. Yeah, I'm really, well, I'm really mad because there's too many fucking lies going on here. Okay, so now what is the time, driving distance time? The so driving distance. The driving time. distance time, remembering everybody in chat, remembering, keeping this in mind, that is no burning of cars, no changing of clothes, no uh, killing of three people, three people. Okay, so if we're just going from where we saw him at 1055 on that security camera yep. all the way up just to Highway 105, so just a few minutes past Gina's house, yes. 24 minutes. If we're going to the Enfield Big Stop. The Big Field, yeah, I want the Big Field in there. And we're looking at like 40 minutes. No fucking way, man. 35 no minutes. No fucking way. Least. In that minutes. span, in the 40 minutes, if he was to do, uh, like, work it out kilometers-wise, how, how fast is he? Would, would he have to be driving even to get there by 1121? Uh, He's going to have to be going, like, 140, 100 and some odd kilometers an hour. Hundred, yeah. About 140, I think, when I did the math in my head. I think you're right, because this is looking at... So, and that's minute. not... No, no stops. No stops. No stops to fucking have shootouts, changing clothes, carjacking two different people. Get the fuck out of here. The thing is, too, is this also depends. Because if he took the 102, he can be there in 35 minutes. If he took the... Hold on, where was it? The 102... Uh... Share this with your friends, people, please. Because it is absolute, absolute trash. And it's really easy to do the, the math. It's math. It's not hard. Yeah. So we're looking at least at least 35 minutes with no stops. But the thing is, too. With no it, no stops. Up until and the then point. Then you got to think about that he's got spare set of clothing. He's going to fucking car. He's going to carjack one dude, shoot him, take his car, which apparently he doesn't want to take. He wants to go and then drop it off at Gina Goulet's house after he kills her. He's got to find her keys, change his clothes, take but her car, and then drive the rest of the distance. Absolute nonsense. 
The point is, too, is he doesn't have a reason to speed up until the point where he reached Shubanakati either. So let's say we're going on this. That's probably up to, hold on, let's see how long that is. Ah, oh, one second. Boom, bitches. So we're talking at least 24 minutes until he reaches where he got into the gunfight with Stevenson. So he has 10 minutes to complete the rest of the drive, which no, is no, almost twice the distance. Minutes, dude. He, He's dead. He's, he's almost dead. It's 26 minutes. 26 minutes until he first encounters the police. Add five more minutes because it's 11.26 when he's dead. 31 minutes. 31 minutes. He can't even hardly get past Shuba Kanadi. He would still be in the fucking gunfight and shit. Absolute junk. Jesus, if I, you know, I, I hate pounding people intellectually. It's just, it's just fucking makes me so mad. It's re like so easy to see. Absolute horse shit. And even that one point alone, that one point alone, just that timeline problem. Big fucking problem. Now, why is this silver tracker on, why is this silver tracker being seen when he's almost dead? Let's look at the time here, people. Uh, what was it? 1124. He's at the gas That's station minutes. in confrontation with the police. Do you think the fucking people that run the Twitter account know that he's in the at the gas station with Gina Goulet's red Mazda? Wait, Milford. Milford, where's that? Where's Milford? Milford, Milford. I've been having a problem with the this fucking shit. I I I don't I'm terrible at voicing it. So holy shit, that's a huge different distance. Two two four to, to one twenty four. Right? Yep. Or sorry, not two two four to one twenty four, because that could just be a typo. One oh two. Get out of here, man. But that puts him like right here, roughly. 806. How long does it take to get from trading post to Shuba Kanadi? Uh, let's see. Shuba Kanadi, I think it was. Uh, where was the trading post? Here, I'll go in maps. It'll be easier. 806. We got to do 1124 or 1106. 1106. Where's the tracker coming from? Because he's not going to be in the tracker. He's still going to be in the cop car, I yep. bet you. 24 minutes. 24 minutes oh. of shooting a Connie. Oh, okay. How is, it, how is it 11 minutes after that video is made at the trading stop that he's in a fucking silver car when he's still driving the RCMP cruiser for another, what, 18 minutes? Get out of here. Boom! Just that clip alone. We need a clip just the just this part right here. Because that is almost exclusively destroying any timeline that they had. And this is this was a, exactly the point I was thinking. That as soon as I started looking and started mapping it all out, started to put the mm. timeline together, I saw where the problem was. Yeah. Yeah. And I say I saw it too. I'm like, yeah, absolutely. This is this is fucking bollocks. The silver car, I was saying that. In the stream the other day, the silver car is a fucking red herring. It, there's something wrong. There's no way he's taking this vehicle, ditching it right away to go and then steal her car, farting around, looking for her fucking keys, changing his uniform into clothes that he doesn't have from her house, which is a woman. Come on. See, the other problem, too. The other problem is that your time, like, I mean, not your time, the RCMP time that they have here, they're saying he's traveling 102. He was in Brookfield by then. He wasn't, there was no way that he could get, why would he be on the highway? What is this Brookfield? What's Brookfield, going on in Brookfield? Well, this, this is the thing I was saying is that at 
ten fifty five. They said we had the video up in um, uh, we, the, we had the surveillance footage that was over there, right? They ended up saying that by eleven oh five. Please go back to one oh two. Please go back into one one oh two on the map and show me how that's related. One oh two. How that's related to Big Stop and Shuba Kanadi. It is way the fuck out of the way. Now you're adding a whole bunch more time. Throw in that. 102. Pick a random point on 102. Between Gina, uh, no, between Shuba Kanadi. I don't know how, I, I can't see the, the map exactly in my head. But Shuba Kanadi trading post and how that relates to 102, because he's got the tracker at this point. Now, how the fuck is he driving the tracker when he's supposedly at the uh, still driving the RCMP cruiser on the way to Shuba Kanadi? Whoa! You're gonna you, the time now is gonna go up to like fifty some minutes. Oh no no no! It's worse than that. Not even the time, the, the direction. Hold on, I'm going to share this. I just post put that in. It's even worse. Look at this. Look, look, look. Here's the trading post. He's taking the 102 highway at Brookfield, right? So probably moves on here. You fuck. Hold on. Let me just do that. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. 102, 102 my ass. He's, he's in this fucking cruiser. He's in the cruiser at 1106 on the way to Shuba Kanadi. But look at this. If he's taking the 102 to Shuba Kanadi, he's got to pass it. He's got to get off. He's got to come up the 224 all the way back to Shuba Kanadi. He can't go over? Not as far as I know. Maybe he can. Oh, there's no exit from uh, where, okay. where I've got my mouse on here. Never mind. There is an exit there. He can go off. He goes off. Um, it looks like. McDonald's Street or something, and then he makes a right turn onto the 215. He takes the 215 down to Highway 2, and then he's got to come up. And then this is the off-ramp where everything went down with Stevenson. Now but That doesn't make any sense. Map, the distance, the time to drive, let's just do point by point. The time to drive from Trading post to Shuba Kanadi. How long? Okay. okay, I'll get on that. But the one thing I did want to point out first is that this doesn't even make any sense because it was around this area that Morrison was posted up, and he said the car came up behind him. Right. We got so, that one, too. So and They gave us an exact intersection, too, right? Where yeah, he they shot, said— he drove by and shot him? Yeah, Apparently they said it was right on— arms. It was right here at the 224 and the 2. So unless they're talking about this one over here, which I do, now I don't think they are. I think it was up here. Who who lives there and has nothing better to do than drive around and look at some of this stuff? Because you're going to go and you're going to see the crime tape hopefully is still there. And you can see where these crime scenes are. This is fucking redonkulous. And you got to do it fast because they're gonna they're gonna delete it, like delete it as in they're gonna remove the tape, and we won't ever know, other than word of mouth, which are people that live near there, were the police were the police around there, which frankly you know has to be done possibly if they've removed the tape because this is fucking ridiculous, so fucking ridiculous, driving all over it, it, the Shuba Kanadi one right there. He's driving the car from this from this tweet. From this tweet here. He's driving, he's still driving the cruiser. So what are you talking about? Way over in 102. He's still going down 224 or whatever to go to Shuba Kanadi. Or uh, whatever highway that is, right? How how long does that take from the trading post to Shuba Kanadi? 26 minutes, you said? Uh it was a minimum of 24 minutes. 24 minutes, 1055 plus 24, 1025 plus 24, if I'm not terrible with my math, Be 11, is 19 20. minutes after. What are they saying at six minutes after that he's driving a car, a silver car? Silver SUV, Weber, 
Weber is a we, I think Weber was shot by the police, frankly, accidentally or something happened. This is not the silver tracker is not part of the story. No, I would love to see photos of Gina Goulet's house and what cars are there. That would be another question I would ask the RCMP. Let's see the photo where the fucking silver tracker is at Gina Goulet's house. Boss! There's no fucking silver tracker there. No silver tracker there. And this is on tape. This is on tape. So, and I know that they're, I'm pretty sure that they're watching this shit. Because they've changed two things because of things that we have said. And it's not just me that thinks, you know, with the tinfoil hat, that other people are saying the same thing. Things are changing because of what you say. You say something, then the next day they come out and they say, oh, yeah, by the way, this blah, blah, blah. And then now there's, you saw what, uh, oh, I see your dog. These uh, fucking people, man. Oh, yeah, he's a great dog. Come here. He's actually here with me today. Come here. You're going to have to go meet uh, Adrian's. <laughs> God, he's smaller than my dog. Oh, he's a fatty though. He's on the. Uh, he was on stereos, as Ben uh, Ben Johnson would say. He was on steroids at one point, so he got really fat. Porta Big Beach Road. Let's see this. Okay, I'm going to look and, something. And I'm going to record this stuff. You know, like because we could just clip this little piece out, and there is a fucking gigantic hole. Okay, let's check this out. Put some Cathy powerful music, you know. Sassy Kathy was saying that, what was it? You you had it there. They changed Google Earth. They scrubbed out parts of Wortman's property with a 2020 watermark on it. I don't understand that. I've never seen where Wortman exactly lives. Apparently he lived on ocean, the ocean beach or something, not on... He lived on a different road. Uh, actually, I know that from. Uh, oh, that that would be doxing. I can't say. He didn't live on on because there's two properties over there, and then there and and there's another problem. They say, oh yes, we knew about the dental clinic. The dental clinic wasn't in his name. It's in other people's names. The, de the two dental clinics. Very interesting how he's done that. Did they give he's the names of who it was? Yes. One of them has three different names and one has two. Huh. Agent. If you do a title search. You should be able to save it uh, once I stop it. It'll take them a while unless they want to delete it, but that's okay. I really, I really, I know there's only 60, like, fuck them, man, putting this stuff in the hole. This, this is, this is like gold. Gold. It's called taking, taking down corrupt systems and returning power to where it belongs, which is the people and saying we're, we're done with the fucking lying. All of it. You want to assassinate people accidentally. I shouldn't. Uh, hey, Steve, you ready? You re have you been watching this shit, man? Who disposes exactly? This is exactly like the uh, the, the uh, you know. And I I know I go on and on about that, but this is exactly like the fucking mosque. They cleaned that up in forty eight hours. Get out of here! No policeman will tell you that they're able to do that huge crime scene shooting with bullets every which way from Sunday. Yeah, yeah, we're done here. In under 48 hours. Balls. Oh, you missed tons, dude. You better get in here. Tons. And we cracked the case, bud. Well, we haven't cracked. I wouldn't say we cracked it, but we booed gigantic holes in their stuff. <clears throat> gigantic fucking holes. But these are holes that we were already blowing up. I mean, it, we were just skirting around the issue. You know, you were talking about it. I was talking about it. We're, we're talking about it. We know the fucking timeline's a big fucking problem. Big problem. I really should 
clean up my language because poor old grannies will watch this video and they'll be like tune out <laughs> but hopefully they they you know the only reason i'm i'm swearing and stuff is just because the frustration i feel with all of this nonsense lying when the police cannot cannot apologize to this point for opening fire on citizens and for letting this man go to continue to murder nine other people. Apparently. I don't think he's up. He's responsible for nine deaths, if we're being true. At this point, I'm certain I agree with you. It seems, it seems, I mean, not even just the negligence of it, but at this point, it's starting to see them like, Constable Heidi Stevenson was killed by her own people. It seems Morrison was injured by his own people, and even possibly poor Joey ended up getting killed by his own people. I mean, I don't know how G uh, Joey gets killed. He's driving. He's driving the the tracker, and they're reporting that he's in, and he is in a cruiser. He is in a cruiser. So how in the hell is poor Joey ending up dead? And his Chevrolet SUV used for one kilometer balls, which is then seen over on Highway 102 when we're talking Highway 224. Highway 102 is on the other thing. Other, and, and then you're talking about the fact that they follow this 806 tweet up. One kilometer. One kilometer from Shuba Kanadi to Gina Goulet's house where he took the Mazda. One kilometer. How long does it take them to travel? They, do they say he has this silver SUV? Get the fuck out of here. Silver SUV. Uh-oh. He has it for 18 minutes driving around. See, the and other he's thing over too. on 102, which is completely out of the picture. 224. There was one thing about Joey's case that I... I remembered but i didn't think much of but now i'm starting to have a different opinion on it they were mentioning that joey went into town he had errands to run right it seemed that in the article i read they explicitly uh, according to the counselor according to the counselor well this counselor also ended up saying that one thing he went into town for was for gas now i didn't think much of it then you know it's just one of those little things that passed me by but now i'm starting to think that if they did, say, kill Joey, they need an excuse for why the car's gone. Well, Wartman took it. But now Wartman's caught with uh, Gina Goulet's car. This could be the an excuse that they're trying to give as to why he subbed the cars out so quickly. Why he drove one kilometer down the road and then switched cars for some odd reason. I mean, this guy's clearly not paying attention to Twitter, so he's not knowing whether they yeah. have access to that, that they know that he's driving a silver SUV now. What, where does the silver SUV even come from? He's in the fucking cruiser. There's no way he's in an SUV. Because he's on the way from the trading post to Shuba Kanadi. So what in the fuck are they saying that he's in a silver tracker? Uh, eight oh, that's 1106. 1106. That's 11 minutes after the tape from the trading post. It takes 24 minutes to travel from the trading post to Shuba Kanadi, right? Mm -hmm. He's in the cruiser, not in a Chevy Tracker. Eh. Well, you fucked up, RCMP. And, you know, people are smart. We're not dumb. I don't know why they keep trying to pull this garbage. I... I Let's go and look at uh, Portapic Beach Road because if um, uh, who is that? Cassie was Sassy saying? Cassie. Okay, let's go have a look, please. Uh, you're a much better driver. I just I operate in my mind. I don't type. I don't. That's why I don't reply to a lot of shit. I'm sorry, guys. Um, okay, now let's have a look at Portapic Beach Road. Because I have a sneaking feeling, and I know this is tinfoil, that somehow this map is going to change, and somehow there's going to be a new exit out of here, or trees. 
are going to be removed because somehow he has to get out of here with the RCMP cruiser when the road at the end has been blockaded all night. And this is where I got really angry initially with this story because I'm like, this is a, the, there's only one way out of here. Come on. So that means you actually said, not just, not just uh, he drove by on another lane. You had it entirely closed down. Oh, gosh, now the video is starting to go. The, vid the, the road entirely closed down there at the end. And not just one, but two at least. He said two perimeters. Now, there is only one perimeter at the end of the road. How does he get the police car out of there? That's because they say, come on through. Come on through, Mr. Wartman, in your phony police car, which we have known about for months, according to the funeral director, uh, Donald, where is it? Fuck right off. Trump. Donald Trump, no. Uh, Donald, uh... Walker. You want to bet Mr. Walker's story has changed? That man threatened him at the end. I uh, Where is that video? He threatened him. He said, I want to talk with that guy. Here's Steve. Good. Let's fucking blow it up, man! I think I need to wake up. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Oh boy, you missed a, See, a very a entertaining two and a half hours. Oh, hold on, my wife's talking to me. Give me one sec. Nice hair, by the way. He just signs on just to leave us again. You're out of the crew. He's like a bad date, you know? <laughs> Good night, Stephen. Please tell your friends. Tell everybody. We gotta get. We gotta blow this one up. We gotta share it people. and get people asking and demanding answers. These people cannot be allowed to go through without Frank. Because in the old days, I flash back to the fifties or whatever. You had a police force who was who was more friendly. Who understood what it was to serve and protect listen we're really sorry and if they made an error that is that is the sign of a true man a man who can admit when he makes mistakes a person that can't admit that they make mistakes and they have admitted none all that they've said is we'll we're we're, we're passing the buck over here we're passing the buck you guys you guys open fire on the very people that you saved apparently you fucking heroes now, I'm not saying it's all of these cops, but there is dirty, dirty, dirty fucking police in there. Dirty. Well, here's the thing, too, is that who did these cops save in that group that you're talking about? Because you're talking about the Onslow Fire Department. They let this go on for at least four hours from the sound of that testimony by um, uh, Clinton, I think his name was, the guy, uh, the brother. Look, he said look he at was... all this this footage that we have of things going on. Where is it? Like Canadian Free Press, the, the CBC, they're all showing the fire hall. Yep. That fire hall had already been attacked by the police. And nobody said anything. Nobody. They just showed it as though there were survivors and they saved everybody. Get out of here. It was the, tw uh, the message that... Um, was deleted by uh, where is that? Where's that picture? Right here. Oh, you don't think that the the fire hall's being threatened too? Come on, computer. I think they've done something to my computer. I'm just Look waiting for it to explode one day. I, I just built this, man, it's, it, and it's, it's fast. Yeah, what is it, like a year, year and a half old? Uh, there are pieces in it that are a year. 
I build pieces, bits and pieces. I always add. I'm always working on my computer. Um, on slow fire hall coordinates uh, coordinates with the EMO emergency management office was being used as the registration center for evacuees from Porta Pic Beach area. The hall, the evacuees, the people who survived this r raging gunman, as we're told. The hall was being provided uh, provided a place where residents could take a break because they've already been traumatized. This is where the brother went. The brother, was he there? The one who froze his ass off in the bush because the police were serving so well? Did he get transported to this place when they opened fire on him? And CBC knew about this because they had the story. If you look at um, the CBC article uh, uh, that was written, it was written a day before, but they had videotaped that, and they never aired that videotape until the next day. She's wearing the same clothes, she's standing in the window, she's giving the interview, and they removed quotes from it too. They changed her quote. All of these big press agencies are changing their fucking quotes. Just like global and Globe and Mail left out bits and pieces of this man's quote, Mr. Blaze Jones. Blaze Jones. And they say, oh, he, he they say, they, they leave out about the wife driving the car. And Global leaves out the fact that he had two. Even though Blaze's quote is quite clear, you don't need to mess with it, it says it right there. Nope, they didn't want to tell anybody. The only person that did was the small town newspaper, Herald Chronicle out of Halifax. Not owned by Post Media or these giant media conglomerates, which frankly are in fucking bed with the government and will cover their ass. Which really makes a sense why all of this really good reporting seems to be coming out of that Herald. Oh yeah, I mean, that, I think that was the whole intention of why Post Media bought up so much uh, news sources because they bought up a lot of local journalism now, and then these people get even their local journalism comes from the exact same reporters, but it allows them to have control because they. I don't think I could be wrong, but I don't think the way Post Media works is that they got their own individual editors, like the every local local newspaper has its editors, I'm pretty sure it's still pick and chose by the by post media, like the people who run that. I'm pretty sure they are still the ones that decide how, uh, what stories should be run. It's true. It's they, they, true. Officially, things are dynamic and fluid. You know they're lying. Charlie Damn Babstock right. Charlie says it. I said it in my tweet last night. That's why I was so fucking furious. I know I'm used to their garbage. That when they mm -hmm. talk this new speak... And we should listen to him because it's absolute trash. It's a lot of psychological warfare he's fighting. He doesn't answer any real questions at all. He just pumps up the fact that we're very good. We're doing a great job. We're taking care of you. He doesn't apologize and he doesn't answer shit. And then they, they who have the power, who are getting paid by the taxpayers, shut it down. Shut down. Your famous word. <laughs> Or well, afraid, I should say. These Shutter people, down. that's what they do. <laughs> Shut that's her down. Do, you know, because you can't have any discussion, can't have any investigation, can't know the truth. And the truth will set you free. Yep. You don't need to you don't need to have to see how complicated what is it? I don't like to judge Judy at all, but there are certain <laughs> things that she says that are, are good. And not that I ever watched her anyway, since I was a drivel. <laughs> Drivel. I mean, it was clearly, clearly, uh, who is it that exposed that, uh, the CBC show? Uh, young the Fifth on Estate? The block Sorry? The Fifth Estate? No, no, Young Kids on the Block or whatever. Well, what new, that comment? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, Frank, what was the name? I new, should know this. No, New Kids on the Block is a band, a boy well, band. Well, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you uh, know what, you know the show no, I'm it was talking just, about. It was just called Kids on the Block. Kids on the Block? Mm -hmm. no. And 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 Ted and I, I said to Ted, you know, we should uh, sue each other, and then I'll, and then I'll I'll uh, we'll because we'll get a free vacation down there, and and both of us will get money because both people get paid, 
But anyways, but she says, she says, when you the tell kids the in the truth, hall, kids in the kids hall, in the yeah. Hall. When yeah, you tell the truth, it isn't. You don't have to have a good memory. It's really fucking no, it's easy. True. So then you can sit there and you can answer questions for people. You can say this is what happened when you're covering your ass. Well, we've got a big serious fucking problem. Then it's, yep. then it's a lot of fluid dynamic BS. Yeah. And they sit there in this. I, I, I you know, I'm surprised you guys didn't see that. Um. The um. The news conference or the supposed timeline BS bollocks. Where is it here? Right there. No, I say no to you news last, groups seem to be seeing that. I say, I say to you last night, right? You know, look at True North last night. When you hear the certain oh. psychologically crafted language, i.e., fluid, dynamic, unfolding, you 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 need to understand. Fuck off. <laughs> Seriously, man. You just need to be to be vigilant. Seriously, like honestly, uh, you know, I I have I have uh, I tried over the years to, you know, be a cool person and collect it, but you piss me off, man. I get angry, you know, and when I get angry, I want to see people pay. Yeah. So these people have to pay because a lot of people died as a yeah. result. And they're not taking responsibility. And that's not what a real man does. It's not what a real police force should be doing because that's not showing our kids at all the way it is to live as a, as a good person. Good person lives by telling the truth, by being honest, by accepting responsibility when we make mistakes. And those that don't follow by that code we chastise them, and we publicly you you publicly essentially shame, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that they don't yeah. do it again, because because the behavior the behavior is abhorrent to society. Well, this is the thing too: is that the the truth isn't always easy. The truth isn't always something you want to talk about. But this was sort of the, if you want, back in the day, the measures of a man, if you want, is somebody who, even when times were tough, were willing to speak the truth. And this is something that has been lost. Everybody from CEOs to politicians to police force, nowadays, they don't hold that sense of, I would even say even classical right and wrong, being truthful. And that has dominated our society, and it's actually, in a way, I think it's poisoned it from the inside out, from the top down. And now we're starting to live with the consequences of that, and now oh, yeah. we're in a position where people, I mean, not for the first time, but people have died, yep. and now we have everyone trying to cover it up. You have politicians trying to cover it up. You have police trying to cover it up. You have the media trying to cover it up. When there's been so much pain for one small community... But all that matters is that their lies continue. It's kind of revolting, to be perfectly honest. It, it is revolting. And we, we have been massaged and dumbed down into believing and trusting, because that's human nature, to trust. Good people do trust. And we trust that our system will take care of us. And it doesn't. This system is against us, sadly. But we that is because we have relinquished that control. And once this pervasive cancer gets into our society and has been there for a long time of the degradation of morals and honesty and goodness and purity and can and, and Christian Christian Christianity. That's why Christianity was good. You know, I understand Bible thumping and all that nonsense. You don't have to go to church to be a Christian. You know, it's just it's just yeah. living by a simple, good, moral, ethical code that Jesus said. Yeah. And he came and he said, listen, this is the way to live. That's why no other religion has, has they have issues. They have issues because I'm not saying all religion, but many of them do. 
because it's the superior garbage and it is, uh, I'm going to fight back and I'm going to take, you know, you need to be this way. Fuck you, man. You just need to be a good person. You need to be honest. You need to accept when you're wrong. You don't act in anger. You, you, but you don't, you know, that they lie to us about all this stuff in the Bible too. They say, oh, you know, Jesus was this big pussy. Fuck you, Jesus was a big pussy. He goes and fashions the whip and takes out the money makers or the money changers. The money changers which run our society today. And I'm looking at all well, this I'm... stuff about the uh, the businesses going down, the small businesses and all these loans. The loans, Trump just gave out money to, to dole out, to the banks to dole out. So they've just sat on it and then you have to go through an application process and this and that and the other thing. And they're all loans. So all of those businesses will have to pay back all of that money. This is a gigantic fleecing. Well, this is also very similar to what we're doing in Canada. This whole benefit for the COVID thing, the $2,000. Yep. I don't think the full amount, but you got to pay a good portion of that back. So that's all it is. It's just a loan. They shut everything down and now they're going to put you even more in debt in order to do it. And the thing is, like, I've been very open about how I've never been a religious person, but I do see where this benefit has come from. I mean, I always I think back to the story of. Um, was it Thomas Aquinas? I think it was Thomas Aquinas that he was living through the time when King Henry in England was trying to split the church, split off from the uh, Roman Catholic Church. And then. This man, he gave him something both to live and to die for, because he was unwilling to see the thing, uh, see the the point of view of the king, and this actually led to him being executed uh, underneath the king's rule. So it actually gave people something to live for, something to die for, and maybe it was the idea of the afterlife. Maybe it was the, maybe it was I don't know. Maybe even the fear of of going to hell. But it gave people a reason to be honest. It gave people a reason to to try and be the best person that they can. Even if it was, whether it's true or false, it still made them better people in in this earth that we have now. And that's something that we've lost. We that's have. Not, they, and they, we, you know, it's hope. also with Christianity, it promotes a lot of individualism, making individual choices that are based mm -hmm. on certain boundaries and guidelines that are adherent to living a decent life. But a lot of other religions push more of a collectivism, more of a hive, more of a, you got to do what the religion tells you mentality. And that breeds that collectivism in our society. And that's what degradates our society. And that's why they have to attack Christianity. Yep. See, I actually no think church bells, no church you... bells anymore. That you have a very good point there, Steve. But what they did best, I think, is they had that that perfect balance between individuality and doing something, if you want, for the greater good. So it was like exactly. when they needed to unite as Christians, they united as Christians. But for the most part, as long as you weren't really, say, challenging the church and the, their belief, you more or less they did respect, from what I can tell, the individual rights of people. But that's something that they try – using movies and TV, that's something they try and completely destroy these days. At any point, you look at the way that a very Christian person is presented, and it's usually in a very negative point of view. It's usually they're... Uh, like, even though you talk to people who are not, like, certain people in their view on Christianity, let's say, they usually point to something it's like well you know their treatment of gay people their treatment of of the lgbt community i'm like okay yeah. but the most of them aren't really like that they don't believe in that sort of thing but unless you're really going to the southern baptist church you're not going to hear about these calls to have gay people destroyed you know <laughs> it's destroyed as sodomites and all and all that stuff but <laughs> This is the way that it's been presented in the media, and I think this is the perfect reason why. You destroy the the unity, the self-image of a people, of a country. They're much easier to control. It's the, control. It's the old divide-and-conquer strategy. Yep. Yeah. Well, we're, we're docile. 
we're not yes. fighting back. Look what's happening. The RCMP is completely shitting on their citizens. And, and, and we're having parades and stuff and vigils and things like that are great, but we, we, we should be, I don't want to say it, but almost lighting buildings on fire. I mean, like we, and that's, you know, obviously we, we can beat them with our brains that, though. But you see, you see, I just mean that people should be that mad. Yeah. Oh, I'm furious. I've been furious for a long time, you know, as have, as have we all, right? We've all been really frustrated with what's going on. But yeah. but I believe that there is a way to defeat this evil with our brains, you know, and it's just calling it out. And, and, and that's why I think, I think this, I, I advocate using the legal system as best as possible 100%. because they can, who, who, have we even exhausted this possibility? No, we haven't even implemented it for so long. People did used to do this, by the way. They did mm -hmm. used to challenge their governments legally. And this one, frankly, mm -hmm. has a lot of legs and merit. Yeah. You know, and, and we can organize this. It is, um, and I saw somebody speaking of that earlier. Um, I forget, sorry, I flashed up their comment. And they said... Um, we need to, or try, we need to get a, a, first of all, to try to get the families together as a group mm -hmm. and, and just for one, one piece of that so that they can act as a unified voice because this balkanization of individualism where the RCMP tells, it's compartmentalizing their information. They tell somebody yeah. something, they tell somebody something else. And they just assume everybody's disorganized and stupid and they're going to get away with their trash. If they're one unified voice, you have to lie to all of those people. And all of those people are listening. The second part to that, then, is organizing a civil suit against the RCMP, get, um, getting the evidence together here, which we are doing. And we can document quite easily, then show to the other families because lots of families still will think you know listen the rcmp did everything right but you know if they've opened fire on them they know there's a problem their their community has been tragically hit by all of this and the rcmp are not taking any responsibility so sue them get them under discovery where they have to answer the hard questions how does it end up he, that he's in the silver tracker when, in fact, he's in another car, a cruiser? What are you talking about that he's way over on, on Highway 102 when he's on Highway 224? How do you know that Gina Goulet is dead? How do you know that? How do you know that he, he's, you know, what, it's just, and he's bringing spare clothes and all of this nonsense. It's just utter lies. So you take and him he's, out. He's, and move, you, he's moving a bag from car to car and all these vehicle to vehicle. And, and stop, stop with, uh, you want to see the bathroom. They want to see the bathroom. Oh, yeah, you want me to go get it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know as I've seen the bathroom. It's making yeah. me very excited now. Well, yeah, I, only bring that, I only bring that out for nights where I play Trudeau. Um, oh, Steve, they're asking what's your Twitter, Steve. I'll link to Steve's Twitter. Here. Oh God, it's like the worst name ever. It's you know it's on my descriptions, but it's like don't stop learning. I'll get it. I'll get it here for which him. is the easiest. Here's um, here it is. It's unique. It's unique. Don't stop learning. Learny one. <laughs> That's right. I ran out of characters and then I fucked it up, so I left it. And also, be sure to subscribe to Steve's OnlyFans account if you want to see him shirtless. There you go. You just donate a <laughs> few bucks and uh, get your free personalized picture. Yeah, you send me money and I'll send you a shirtless pic. <laughs> and and uh, you know, I said that again. I'm going to drop uh, both both these guys' channels in. Please go subscribe and and check them. Uh, check out their videos. They're doing awesome work, you know. I but I think we work really well together. And I know that we've talked uh, off camera um, about kind of 
grouping up and doing this kind of thing on a more regular basis because uh, on a regular basis not on a more regular basis on a regular basis because frankly if people like it they're involved they are participating which gives mm -hmm. them hope and and we we need that because the system fucking crush is crushed the shit out of us with this trauma over the yeah. years it's constant and the, the rcmp will traumatize further by saying that there's mass shootings going on when there's construction sites because they want to bury their news story fuck yeah. you man that's really low that's really low yeah. i'm gonna put in uh, so that's uh uh just my stupid channel adrian's and not so stupid and uh i'll put in steve's channel here too i need a rebrand Sorry? No way. I love that. <laughs> I was just saying I need to rebrand, but it's funny because I feel like I need to, and then almost almost everybody that I kind of say that to, they're always like, I really like the name. I'm like, eh. Yeah, no, it's catchy. It's it catchy. is. It's very catchy. You, if you get rid of it, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell you what, if I do get rid of it, I'll let you know. There's okay. Steve's all channel order. as well. <laughs> So please make sure that you guys are subscribing and passing that around with your friends to both their channels. And thanks everyone for subscribing. Um, okay, so Steve, uh, mm -hmm. you had a point about the, I'm gonna, if you don't mind, I'm gonna grab a coffee so you guys uh, um, yeah. have a little chat. And um, Don't I, leave I know me alone they, with him. <laughs> He's not in the bathrobe. Don't worry. Oh, Jesus. That's a scary ass face. <laughs> I know. I can do some fucking weird ones. Why do you like to be upside down? Here. I know Here. it's an upside you down see... world. But... Here. Before, hey. you, before you leave, Seamus, you want to see scary? Okay. I'll show you scary. <laughs> Don't move. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my. Gets it. <laughs> oh, this, that'll get the video banned. I'm out. <laughs> um, but I know you wanted to run through um, the pylons and things. So, um, and I know you had some other yeah. points that that would be great if you would share with us all. That would be super. I'll be back in a moment. Sure. You guys didn't say really anything about that, eh? Uh, we touched on it very briefly. We kind of showed the photo a little bit, kind of thought what the pylons was about. But yeah, it was not a, it wasn't a huge point of uh, of the video so far. We kind of just got onto a few other things. Like we showed the, you know, the Facebook video you sent me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we ended up playing sure that. Not. We talked a little bit about the water tower. Then we really got back onto the timeline, which I think that's been our... Uh, our big point of talking yeah. point with this whole thing, which I, I well, think that's from day one. That's what I said too. Yeah. And I think that's really going to be the, uh, that's going to be the smoking gun. If you want, like if it, when it goes down to lawsuit, they're going to need more than that. But I think that'll be a great place to start and just show like, this yeah. is where you're saying at this time. And here's what's actually was going on in reality, especially yeah. the end part. From the point where he was seen on that surveillance video, that alone was one of the most critical points of evidence because that gave us yep. a official time of where he was, when he was, and then from there you can map everything out and just show how the whole thing is messed up. It's true, and you know what? They can't even deny that because that was on a global <laughs> website. Mm -hmm. like, I think that was the first place it was posted was global. I believe it was global CTV put it out. And I mean, CTV, like we were going to talk about a little bit earlier, they tried to crop out the time. They didn't want people to know, but then the, uh, then the, the anchor made the mistake where he was, even though they cropped everything out, he said, Oh yeah. So this is 10 55. It's like, yeah. you messed up, but now we have two That's official the biggest news thing. Yeah. Like the media is almost complicit in this whole thing too, because it's like, they're spreading all this misinformation. They're not. Why would you even make a news report if you don't have a fact? If you don't, if you know it's not a fact, just don't say it. That's I think simple. that 
I think the whole point of these days with the media is just to maintain the status quo. There's no real great investigations that have done being done by them these days. That's why I've actually said that Canuck Law is one of the best investigative journalist sites that I've seen in a long time. She, whoever I don't know who the girl is, but whoever runs Canuck Law does a greater job than the Fifth Estate, than any of these that you'll see on Global or CTV. The, the whole point of them these days is just to keep people... It's You know what? The perfect example is that old saying where it's like, if you don't read the news, you're uninformed. If you read the news, you're misinformed. And this is exactly what yeah. they're trying to do on a grand scale. And it works because it's probably at one point, at least for all three of us, that's exactly what we were doing. We were reading the news and we thought we knew what was going on. But the more and more deeper we dug and the more we found out about the lies, the more we found out what they weren't reporting on, it changed our point of view. And that's where, we're, where we ended up here today. But yeah. for most of the people, they tune into their CBC or their CTV news at 6 p.m. At 6 p.m. They watch their hour segment or whatever it happens to be. And then they think they know everything or they think they know the truth when the whole point is they're only giving you a partial, uh, partial truth. But they're leaving the most important details out, and this is exactly what they're trying to do with the shooting. Give you the little bit of breadcrumbs, but they're keeping the meal from you. Yeah. I say it. it's sad all the time. When all, like all these people who are watching us, they're left with us as the reliable news source. Yeah. Yep. Like that's pretty messed up. <laughs> I, I don't feel like I should be telling you the news, but I feel like I'm doing a better job than they are. Because you Which are is really sad. We all have a role, right? I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I'm not. I'm nobody important or anything like that. But I, yeah. There was an understanding that I came to that God gave me the ability to do what I do, and you know, not that it's huge or anything like that, but it it is my my role, my little piece that I can add to the the picture you know and i think that's mm -hmm. that's what we are right because <clears throat> we're part of the solution all of us all of the people in chat all part of the solution yeah. you know but it is 100%. it is being able to to stand up I, I, uh, and say things to do to to i mean even hitting likes anymore and things like that is hard i i don't know why but some people they don't even like to do that anymore i'm like if you like something and you're watching it or whatever, like it because it is there. There is some screwiness to their algorithms, right? And they do want to yeah. push people like all of us down as much as they can because they want to fill everybody full of the mainstream propaganda garbage, like Loretta's talk, uh, talking about there. Absolutely. They're going to lie to you, they're controlled, they're corporate. They act as one unified voice, and it, journalists know now that they have to carry the uh, ball, otherwise they're out. Yep. Well, this has been the case with a lot of a lot of journalists. They they try and do real reporting, and their editor shafts the story, and that was perfectly shown by um, what happened with Jeffrey Epstein when I think it was ABC News. That there was the hot mic that yeah. got released of that anchor where she said three years ago, yeah. I had the stories, I had um, I had the witnesses, and we were ready all to go, and they destroyed the story. And this you know who the, they fired? They, they fired, fired the, the person who released the tape. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't carry the ball. You, you got it. You got to go. Yep. And there was somebody here in Canada. There was a National Post uh, journalist who wrote a story, I can't remember what it was to do with, I think it was something to do with uh, the leadership race, not sheer, uh, it was before Liberals? all that. Liberals? No. NDP? I can't quite remember, it was, anyways, and, and, and he got fired, because he wrote something, and he made it, he, he started talking about it on YouTube, and he said, like, I understand what I wrote was going to be get, get me blackballed i will never work in media more than likely again but uh i have to tell the truth you know like i have a conscience 
don't Absolutely. remember what that was, eh? I can't, and I've searched high and low for that individual, and uh, I know that they work for the National Post. I know that they wrote an article, and it got them in a lot of trouble. And he said, you know, I knew at the time I'm going to get in massive trouble, but I still had to do the right thing. I had to say what it was. Yeah, that's what we, we used to have reporters like that. And now you can't even rely on alternative media. A lot of the alternative. What's that? My mom said that to me. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Um, my mom said that to me. Uh, you know, you need to go and contact a good investigative journalist. And I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think I'm doing? And what do you think all these other people are doing? Do you think that there's any fucking yeah. good investigative journalists out there? Or are they going to show you the Mountie funeral procession? and the ribbons and all the bs yeah investigative reporters are the thing of the past they did used to exist yeah and there is none now and Thanks for the likes here we are here we okay. are people like us that are in the end of the day filling the role it's our it's our role that's uh, to me i don't know that's I feel like it's what I, the little things I can do, right? We all do. We can all do. And we have power. So much has been, we, this fucking belief that we have no power. Who was that that was in here? Somebody. And they were tro either trolling or or they were, um, they actually NL expat? believed that. Sorry? Was it NL expat or something? Yeah, I'm not going to say who it is. I don't know. No, it wasn't him. It was somebody else. And that's they, that's just funny like, that you, you have, say that name. <laughs> you you have no you have no power. What are you doing? I'm like, shut the fuck up, man. You you we have power. We have far more power than you want to even believe. You have enough power that you, as a citizen, can go and charge Mr. Trudeau if you have a sufficient case. And people are like, huh? What are you, serious? Like, it sounds like uh, tin foil stuff. But absolutely, it's built within the criminal code. A private citizen can lay charges on another citizen. As long as they have evidence and they take it before a justice and they're able to demonstrate that they have a reasonable case, then they can go and <laughs> proceed to trial. And, you know, if you do certain things like my grandmother taught me this one, you inform there's all somebody of the doing media. that to trudeau right now you inform all of the media you inform everybody that you possibly can you're going to do something uh and you say you know if you don't get the story i guess every one other person in there is going to and you just missed the exclusive and those little small town papers they still exist they still do the right things uh oh night charlie All right, now, um, you had some st great stuff there, Steve. Let's get into that, too. If you want right. to. If you want well, to. Well, I guess, so, with that photo you were showing. Oh, yeah. Um, which one was it? With that photo you were showing. With, the pilot? Uh, can you guys hear me? Or am I yep, breaking up? a little bit. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah, with that photo you were showing with the car and the pylons, okay. it, it got me thinking. It got me thinking that the pylons, they usually use those for the shell casings. And when we were watching the other video with, uh, you know, the cruiser that pulls up in the fire going, it's pretty much parked exactly where those RCMP would be standing, you know, behind their SUV. And is pretty well in line with where the shell casings would fly. So it got me thinking, okay, so maybe somebody rolled up on scene here. They thought it was maybe Wartman and started firing. Well, that one article that we read, you know, showed that Joey Weber was killed nearby. It had me thinking to potentially they accidentally see him coming up the on-ramp or something and somebody got a little trigger happy and tap tap and uh oh we hit the we hit a real civilian 
I don't know. So were we able to determine um, the position of these shell casings? Is this from, it? It in my look, it looks like it's from behind uh, the supposed Wartman car, or am I mixed up here? Holy yeah, crap. I think I'm sorry, gentlemen. Uh, I don't mean to interrupt right as Steve's saying this, but I'm dropping an image to your thing right now. We have an unblurred version of Wartman's body. Oh, awesome. I was checking out that Kiwi Farms uh, link you were saying, and yes. there was one in the motorcycle. You can see him on the ground, the police <laughs> around him, and the car in the background, the Mazda. Okay, so where did you send that to, sorry? Uh, to both your Twitters. I'm so sorry to interrupt, Steve. I know you were getting into that. But I just came across that and thought it was very important. Oh, this is this motorcycle picture again. Yes, what it was. What is this motorcycle but... picture about? Um, I'm not sure, but I think they're just trying to say it's his motorcycle or something. It says... Uh... Uh, workman... I'm not sure. Body, okay. I'm just saving it, and I will bring it up here. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I won't be able to see it. Yeah, I won't be able to see it. Why, are you blind? <laughs> no, no. My my settings, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> right. I forgot. Hold on. Your settings? Uh, yeah. Let's just say that. He's got a kitty I'm filter doing, on. I just can't. I, Oh, are they, are they still up? Do they ever lose energy? Uh, no, no, they never knew. <laughs> Where did Look. I swear I see this. You always play in. Save image, yes. I saved this photo. All right, Steve, I'm sending it to your phone. All right. Well, I can't really blow it up then, though, here. Oh, oh, very interesting. Okay, um, this is not going to... i got to be able to save it here so I can blow it up. Or can you do that? I'll save it. Let me see. Copy image. For some reason, it's not... This is very strange. I have Wartman... Very strange indeed. Oh, here we go. I got it. I don't know. It's always not listed. And yeah. Like I'm having a memory issue. Come on. All right. I, I got the photo. I can pull it up if you like. Sure. Absolutely. All right. Steve's like tuning in and out or something. I just see his screen going black. Okay. We can still zoom in more if you like. Okay. This does actually make a few things a little clearer, though, because just off here to the right, you can kind of make out the very back of that Subaru, which makes no, a little. Mazda. That's the Mazda 3. That's Gina Goulet's car. Oh, no. If you look even more over to the next side, it's the very edge. You can see that's the back of that Subaru, just like the back left side. Uh, Hold on. Oh, no, that's the police SUV on the right-hand side. This right here? Yes. That's the one that they supposedly just happenstance pulled up beside him as he was filling up his gas tank. Pure accident. Oh, yeah. Shit. They didn't that even know that he was here. driving the that's Mazda, the apparently. Which is oh, just shit, I sent you that photo too. too, didn't I? <laughs> Let's see if I can crop that and blow it up more. Um, and I want to see the license plate as well. Start, stop, stop. Okay, now. 
if I do this, it's the resolution is not going to be great at all, but let's see here. Can you make that out? I can make it out. No. It's, it seems like he's on his... I think he's on his front. No, he's on his, his back. Or, sorry, he's, yeah, he's on his front with his cuffed. Yeah, yeah and he I... Looks on his front. That seems to be pretty standard procedure, yeah. even after they've been shot or even dead. They tend to cuff him, so... But, yeah... He looks like he's wearing a white shirt and the pants. It's hard pants? to make out exactly. Green? Black pants or something. Yeah. You think he's wearing a, a shirt? I. Oh, it looks what? like he's wearing a white t-shirt. But it looks like it may be pulled up or something. That's possible. It looks like his pants may be pulled down, too. Well, that sounds... My God, they raped him. Dirty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, is there a timestamp on that photo? I, I don't think so. Do we know um, the photo? I don't think so. Um, best I can give you is not a timestamp on the photo, but a timestamp of when the photo was put on the board. It was April 19th at 2.55 p.m. I'm just going to check uh, Twitter here uh, because... Um... Uh, Death said he sent a picture, a closer picture. That's the link to the thread if anybody wants it. Also put it just in our private chat. Uh, I'm not seeing a picture. Sorry. Uh, sorry, Death. That's not GW. Oh, Gabriel Wartman. I see. Yeah, I thought no shirt, or the shirt's pulled up, or something. I I can't honestly. Let's see if we find a photo. I don't think the resolution is good enough to tell. There must be somebody out there. There's going to be more photos. I think that is a worthy. Oh, so we lost Steve. I think that's of worthy of. Uh, a, um, like a worthwhile alley to pursue is to find as many photos, uh, videos as we can of the two two different incidents, which would be Shuba Kanadi and um, the Big Stop, unedited with Wartman and or license plate of Gina Goulet's supposed car. I'm I'm pretty sure. Excuse me. This is June, Gina Goulet's car. I mean, it is the gray Mazda, and I believe a friend of Gina Goulet identified um, identified who this uh, the car correctly. But it certainly isn't the red Mazda that they refer to in the RCMP timeline. I don't know where the hell they're getting that one from. I don't know either. Uh, is this? Uh, Oh, thank you. Yes, I, this Kiwi Farms is interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna plug through here a bit more because there seems to be the videos are in there. That seems to be a very good place. Yeah. I mean, I'm on. I've, I'm been, still, I've been on their site before, and I've yeah, I've found decent things there. So, is there anything that we can determine, or anybody in the chat from this picture? Is it me or does it look like maybe his, his elbows are broken or his one is? Because it almost looks like it's like a straight. I can try and crop it some more and blow it up. 
I mean, not that it really matters. I would expect they're going to use some force on a guy like this. Although, seriously, it does kind of look like his pants are down. Well, they're definitely low. Let's see. Maybe they're searching for other weapons? Like, do you have any weapons in your ass, crack? Let me check. <laughs> I'm just... Thinking of a South Park episode, I need to check your asshole, sir. <laughs> Cough twice. <laughs> who's who's Gray Cells? Who? Yeah, I'm Gray Cells. Death. Uh, he sent a picture. Does that sound reasonable, though, like uh, to people like people in the chat that we can just keep searching for the photos and video of Shuba Kanadi as many as we can and of the big stop unaltered, unblurred and see what we can learn from them, because somebody's going to have closer pictures than this. And has anyone found any pictures of the tracker either? Of the tracker, no, there's no pic, there's no tracker. I think that no, the tracker that's, is, that's the, something. The if anyone run, yeah, if anyone comes across, if anyone comes across pictures of that, oh yeah, because I, I want to know if this vehicle tracker. has bullet holes in it. That's it. Why, um, why? Oh, here we go. What? This is weird. I'm not getting, I'm following you now back there, but I'm not getting a message from you. So this is very, oh, I see. Okay. Sorry. I don't know why it's got, there we go. Is it, no, this is Gary Williams. I don't know. I'm not, I haven't got, uh, there you go. I accepted your stuff. Sorry, Max. <clears throat> I don't have any, any picture from you. I don't know if they're not letting you send it, but there's literally, Oh, here we go. Now I've got something. All right. Ooh, this is much better. Much, much better. Thank you, sir. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh wow! And we got the license plate. Oh, that's FNZ beautiful. Z two five seven. Oh, this is super. Save. Let's and we can blow it up even more. Uh, Wait a minute. Who who was that from in the chat? That is from Deathmatch. Thank you ever so much, sir. Thank when you, you have a second, do you mind sending that picture to me? Absolutely. That's crazy. Uh, so he's wearing like a, a wife beater. Okay, I'm just gonna send that to you. Isn't that fitting? Twitters. Twatter. Twitter twatter. There's blood on his abdomen. And his forehead. He's bald. We'll, yeah. I'll blow it up here in a second, uh, just after I ship this off. And he, looks like, he looks like he may have just had the shit kicked out of him. Yeah. 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 Well, I wouldn't doubt that. If they're shooting yeah. their own people mistakenly, uh, they're going to be pretty angry. Yeah. Okay, so here's... To you, sir, and also get that off to Steve. Here to you, sir. Big stop. There we go. Okay, and now I will 
Open that and rotate. Where is that? Where the hell is this thing? View by date. Okay, here we go. Now, should I crop this out and do a side by side? Uh, side by side with what? Uh, the other image we had? to his actual photo. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> okay, give me a minute. I'm going to... Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to close this. Open with. Snag it. Okay. Root. Root. I also have the archive of his Facebook and his website. There's actually some good stuff in this Kiwi Farms thread. Oh. What's the most uh, recent or clear picture we have of Wartman? Is it just from the tweet from the RCMP? Mm, I would say so. Right. What was the... Um, Comment about Porta Pick getting scrubbed? Um, it was on Google Earth. They said that uh, his property, at least part of his property, had been scrubbed and replaced with a 2020 logo. Oh, look at that. They removed it. Oh, the picture of him? Yep. Yeah. Hold on, I got it. Uh, that's nice. I and I distinctly remember also seeing the um, the um, tweet about that he's dead, but there is no tweet that he's dead. I mean, they cleaned that off, but I, I don't, I haven't seen one. A picture of it. I was looking around for it. It must exist. I'm sure I saw it. Did you guys see it also? I think we lost uh, Steve. Oh, here he is. He's back. Is he? Thanks for reminding me. Otherwise, I would miss out. Do you guys remember well, I, the I was tweet? There. I was paying attention. I do remember it. I, I haven't seen I don't think I took a picture of it, and I wish I had. It's taking a picture of everything else, but... I, I look. I do. I do remember seeing it though. Yeah, I remember them saying that they first they had had him in custody, and then tweeting that he was dead. Why would they leave that he's in custody, but take out that he's dead? It would be logic says that they would do the opposite. You do the opposite. Yeah. It's a bizarro world. None of their actions really seem to be adding up. Logic, though, they're still 
logic rules. So there's a reason that they're doing it. He has pretty high cheekbones. Mm -hmm. Could have been an actor. Uh, crisis actor? <laughs> MK Ultra. Who knows? I mean, at this point, anything's possible. We're not really getting much from the media other than bullshit and lies. We're, we're definitely not getting really anything that resembles truth from the RCMP. Okay, we were. Thank you. We, Sorry? I was just going to say, what are we left with? Got a new photo of the car. Cars burning. Okay. All right. I've got a side by side. If you guys oh, want, you, you already did it. Okay. I just put it together real quick. Let me just. You're too it up. speedy for me, man. Yeah, you're good. You getting old, Jameis? Well, I need the photo. <laughs> I thought you were sending the photo. Here oh. I am doing. I did half of it. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> yeah, that well, would probably help. People got to watch help. you do the the you know half of it, right? <laughs> there you go. It's in your inbox. <laughs> I like doing the half-ass job. <laughs> There's uh, a guy who I knew uh, who uh, who worked on the rigs. Well, I didn't know him directly, but I, I, I was friends with somebody who uh, who worked with him, and he he lost. Um, oh, there we go. All right. Um, he he. There was a incident where the drill pipe came astray. And hit this guy apparently in the ass, and like literally, and he lost one cheek. So, so they used to call Sorry. him half ass. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, half ass. Flip the photo and put it put it in side by side. Yeah, that's a better way of doing it, actually. Yeah, like just so we can have like right. as close a who wears white booties. He the, the coroner's office. Yeah, it's crime scene investigating or or I was wondering the same thing because I'm like, what do they need it's the coronavirus suit for? Sorry, it's coronavirus. Corona. And meanwhile, they're all standing around together. Yeah, that's what I was bitching about. I'm like, I thought it was Corona, but then somebody's like, no, man, it's a crime scene. I'm like, oh, yeah. Derp. Uh, okay. Let's share again. Oh, wow. He's digging up stuff. Deathmatch. Awesome stuff. Good job. Don't have that. No, I do not have that photo. I also thought the cop car at Wentworth scene was odd because it had the exact same ID as Wortman's minus one. Oh, so hmm. the number was really close, eh? Wow. Very interesting. He'd probably want it to look as official as possible, right? Yeah. 20... 2B, 28B1. 28B11. So he added an extra numeric, then an extra one. Where did you, you, you? This is the thing, the great thing. You work together, people come up with all these super fantastic stuff. Yeah. Yeah, if you're willing to put the time out there to person. find this stuff. Sorry? Well, if you're willing to put the time out to find the stuff that's out there. Mm-hmm. Well, this, and this, in fact, this picture actually uh, gives me a much better lay of the land uh, because now I understand where things are, like the house and, and the cars. 
they, they, I've never seen the cars together with the house. They're just two separate pictures. Look at all the yeah. shit that they removed with the no excavator and put off to the side. That's crazy. Um, did you? Oh, you're still working on the side by side there. Oh, it's all ready to go. Oh, please. I'm right. I'm wetting my pants in anticipation, man. All right, I'm sharing now. Awesome. Oh yeah. Oh no, from initial perspective, to me the nose doesn't look like it adds up. It matches up because he's kind of got this what these wide nostrils. And maybe partly it's because he's smiling. But I'm looking at the photo of the dead body and I don't know that nose doesn't look exactly right. Can you blow up the nose? Like over on his, uh, the, the arrest photo, can you blow it up big? I wonder if it's just broken. It doesn't look broken. It looks pretty straight. It just doesn't look like it. it's the same shape. I mean, it's possible, though. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. Never used this program before, so let's see what I can do with it. I'm gonna look more at this uh, other photo he sent. Whilst you're doing that, uh, something about this motorbike and who is it? Some comedian's name? I don't know what the hell that was about. Um, where is it here? Oh yes, yes. Mm. Okay. I think I got it blown up as far as it'll go. Maybe. It's pretty hard to tell with that foot in the way. Do we... Do we have any reason to believe it isn't is not working yeah exactly i don't know i mean i i think it's worthy to check but because they're clearly is bullshitting about a lot of stuff but is there you know between all of us here and in the chat is there a fairly good consensus that the the same individual mr wartman died at scene of big stop I would say as of now, there's no reason not to believe it. There's reason to disbelieve the actual story. And maybe even there's a possibility of believing he's a patsy. But I don't see a reason to believe that it's not him. Mm -hmm. I agree. What about you, Steve? Oh, 100%. Is there anybody in the chat who differs from that? The forehead is lower on dead person. Loretta in the chat said that forehead is lower on the dead person. Can you put bring up your photo again, please? Yeah. Uh, and you must go to sleep. Oh, we're losing Marianne. See, it's a little hard to tell because he's bald. I can see what she's saying, though. It seems like the forehead's maybe smaller. Smaller surface area. Maybe. But you're right, it is hard to tell because he's bald. I think it's him. It could just be the angle, right? And, uh, you can't see the vein, the vein in this head, right? When he got angry, it must have just been exploding. <laughs> really popping out, putting people's eyes out. <laughs> Look at the dark eyebrows. Eyebrows never lie. One is blonde, one is dark. I never 
I didn't see that. Did you? I'll pull it back up. Yeah, I didn't notice that. All right, let's see. You know, this is just going to get banned for the fact that we showed a camera. Showing, sorry? Oh, they'll probably try and ban it just because you're showing showing a killer's face. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because they want people to forget about it. Yeah. So just the psychological warfare. I can't notice the color of the eyebrow. Neither can I. Yeah. Yeah, it could be the shadow of the hat. No, I don't think so. The shadow is... Well, they seem pretty blonde. Yeah. Hmm. The nose knows. Wart man. <laughs> <laughs> Not touching that one. <laughs> Not today, anyway. Um... Well, there's this other photo uh, that uh, Deathmatch also shared. I don't know if there's anything I can see. Other than, well, first of all, we can see that this is taken a little earlier because his car is not consumed at this point entirely. How the fuck is his car on fire so much and now hers is too? Maybe it's just because from this side the white was showing better. Who is that? Cage was saying that the trunk was up before. It's not up. No. There is one picture that looks like the uh, the like the back trunk is up though. Yes, I know the one you're talking about. Maybe mm -hmm. that's like it exploded or something. That's what I was thinking too, and then. They just closed it later. It's possible they were also, while the car was on fire, they may have quickly tried to check the trunk, see if anything was in there. Mm -hmm. And there's a blue house. That, that'll help you. There's a blue house on the Google Earth. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. And that's also... And these are you rocks. You see the uh, water tower in that other picture with the blue house, couldn't you? And you can see who lives in this house right here. They would get like a bird's eye view, eh? Oh, yeah, no kidding, eh? That truck, that white truck, I'm wondering if that's the people in that second video. They were parked somewhere around here, maybe? No, because they had that shack in front of them, didn't they? Well, maybe not. The, uh, the gazebo? Yeah, I don't think it's them. No, yeah. that they're over. They're over off camera to the right. Yeah, there's yeah. a little parking lot with the gazebo in front that's of it. That's a better. That's a better picture of whatever it was in the ditch there. I yeah, that's the, just like the a rock. Yeah. There seems to be. Yeah. I, I I saw that the other night. There seems to be a couple of them lying around. Rocks. There's one over here mm -hmm. too. As I know, you were like, "What is that?" I didn't, and I couldn't tell. Yeah. I don't understand why people don't hit the like. Or maybe they're just removing the likes. I never that's, that. that's probably a possibility. Yeah. Smash the like. 51 likes. Mary Ann sees 23 and Sister C sees 51. It's a bit of a... That's a big scuff. difference. Um, what it could be, too, is I've seen this before on live streams where if you tune in and the thumbs up are, let's just say, it's 10, you don't refresh the browser. It doesn't seem to show the more thumbs up. So I would ah. say refresh your brow your page and then see if it's still saying the same thing or whether it's more updated. Thanks for the like, Sister C. Thanks all. I don't know if it does anything, frankly. They always say it does, but... What plus, it's, they fucking remove them anyways. Yeah. What it's supposed to do is the more likes you get, the more YouTube is going to push your video up. So if you were to search, say, Wartman, and you had, let's say... 
let's just say you had 10,000 thumbs up, then you're probably going to be at the top of the search bar where if you don't really have any likes or anything, you're going to be pushed farther down. Hmm. Well, sense. that's pretty good. Like ratio. I don't know how many people tune in and out. That's the thing, right? Lots of people tune in and out. Yeah. Uh, um, okay. So what are some strategies that you're looking at or avenues of pursuing other than, I think finding the photos is important. More photos. Mm -hmm. Getting um, a better, sorry. Oh, all I was going to say is I'll keep looking through that Kiwi farm thread. I think they got like 10 pages or something like that to still go through. And I'll see if there's anything more on there. That'll be, that'll be good to use. Do you want to bring it up? Sure. And maybe we can just have a boo at kind of, if there's anything in there that we see. Uh, yeah, everybody keep in the site themselves. Do, do, do. There we go. Uh, where's my mouse? There we go. A few videos so, already uh, being taken down. Is that is that uh, Steve's video? This one here? It could yeah. be. They I had Steve's video on there, I'm pretty sure, and they removed it. Oh. Of, of the the dental clinic. Uh, copy video URL. That's awesome, Steve. You're getting posted on boards and shit like video that. Unavailable. Can't really tell. Hmm. Yeah, I found the only way to get those videos posted was put zero tags at all. <laughs> I, I, I seldomly put tags in. Like actually, I think in the it was the first time I put tags in since I came back it was the other day. I'm thinking that must be the trick. Don't that, use tags. That one video Your shit won't get pulled. Those, those other videos were getting like all, were closer to two, and then all of a sudden it went down to eight or five or something. Like yeah. they're not. I, I think they're demoting it which doesn't surprise me what yeah what's that video well that was i think that was the steve video the one about uh, the one that's gone uh, yeah i think you're right because it was the dental clinic stuff why did you get, why did they take that down? Did they say it was a copyright strike? No, they said it had to do with the tags. And they, okay. they switched, they didn't take it down. They actually switched it to private on me. And oh, they right. wouldn't let me unswitch it from private. That and there was weird. nothing I could do. I, like I tried changing tags, removing tags. I never tried taking all of them out, but, uh, that Zephyr guy, he tried that, and he said it, it went back up, but then they changed it back to unlisted with his. And the only way he could get his to stay up was to put zero tags at all, and then it stayed up. Which well, is I know, the same thing I did. I know that other people have been simultaneously broadcasting or downloading it and putting it up on, on their channel or whatever, which is They should. Practice. Because it, you know, so I, I'm not too worried about it. Um, Ozzy, plus I don't believe any shit that comes out of their mouth. I haven't for a long time. Ozzy says um, you can see two people in the truck. So these people actually have like a total front row seat to what's going down. Yeah. They may have pictures and stuff like that. In fact, I've never seen a picture, though, from this angle, I don't think. Yeah, it's a different angle than I've seen before, too. There's going to be a lot of photos out there, but, you know, who knows how much the RCMP, because they were like, oh, yeah, we want to find, they always want to, they always want everybody to turn all their shit in. And I, I, I mean, I don't know that firsthand, but I would be curious to see, like, how many people get their phones back and their stuff has been deleted and they're like, oh, we're keeping it for evidence or whatever. 
I've never heard of anybody saying anything about that. Have you guys? And then in other cases, I think where they turn their photos of some people. Las Vegas, they did that. Yeah, I, well, I've heard of people here um, when they've got arrested, they've had videos missing from their phones. Uh, I, shouldn't... I think I've heard of that right in Edmonton here, actually. Well, if you're watching, good night to you too. Even if you're angry at me. Okay. <laughs> you guys know what that is. Anyway, okay. Um, do you, are you finding anything interesting on that Kiwi board, or should we wrap it up? So far, nothing. Nothing. Uh, I'll I'll go through it in a little more detail. I think tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to jump off now. Anyway. All right. So it's up to you if you want to wrap it up. Okay. Uh, I might try and find that tape, even though this is like now hour four. Maybe it's maybe it's just too long. But I I want to get into that fucking tape of uh, of the timeline. If right. I find that, at least I could show the threat that he makes it on the, to me, what is a veiled threat. Uh, where was All right, that? well, I'm going to leave you gentlemen to that, and I'll catch up uh, whatever you cover tomorrow. All right. Take awesome. care, man. Have Thanks a good night, gentlemen. So Take care, buddy. No problem. Oh, save that photo. Hopefully, because I, I want to see that photo with the side well, by side. I suppose I can do it. Um, yeah, now you're gonna have to make it yourself. You're gonna have to actually finish something. So, no half assing. Come on, man. Half ass. <laughs> I want to be like that. Uh, the drill. What is it? The what was he? His uh, roll drill drill sergeant, drill boss, or something. I don't know. You know, the guy on the on the head of the oh. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. This is such a fucking... This right here is so BS. This silver thing is, is a big... Yeah, silver chain, chain, chain. It's a big problem. Last time, time, Milford. time, 824. Look at how long he's driving this vehicle, apparently. And he's way where, over on and highway. And where is Milford? They're saying he's over in Brookfield. I, I, how much did he say it was? I can't remember how long it was. It was like over an hour. Absolute bullshit. And yet he did it in 25 minutes or something. Traveling south. I can conceptualize how many holes there are. It's just hard to communicate. Is this this tweet here is after that other one? This is the first one at 8.06. Okay which would mean he got 11 minutes to get down and to and complete the whole Shuba Kanadi thing. Yeah. And and if he did that, it takes 24 minutes to drive down there alone. 11 minutes. They say he gets down there, he kills out Stevenson, torches both their cars, uh, somehow has a bag of clothes probably and kills weapons. Weber. And weapons and runs off, kills Weber, and then takes his vehicle. And somehow they goes to how, Gina's. How did they even know that he took the vehicle? Yeah. Somebody was saying that the tracker was at the scene, but I've never seen anything to do with the tracker at the Shuba Kanadi turnoff. But still, I it doesn't even either. Make sense. But. The closest I've seen is one article saying that he was killed nearby Stevenson. Nearby Stevenson? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and he has to do the drive-by shooting of uh, of Morrison, too. Yeah. 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 Where he shoots him, it looks like, in both arms. 
Yeah, it's, uh, because you know why he's he's driving. Doing, he, he was doing this, but he was driving with his elbows. <laughs> Leaving his partner. Yeah, Rage brought that up about leaving the partner. Nobody leaves their partner. No. To drive off and get help or whatever. It'd be, it'd be interesting to see uh, which hospital he went to and which direction that was. I believe he drove Weber's car to the gas station, but police... But saw police and then went to Gina, swapped cars... <laughs> I think he's being, he's, death is being a smart ass. No, <laughs> yeah, that fits the timeline. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's so ludicrous. That's probably what they're saying. Oh, yeah, I drove no, you know what? He, he went party. there, and then he realized, oh, fuck, her bank card's back at her house. And now they've seen my car, so now i got to switch cars. Where was that? That was on my other channel wasn't it oh i'm on the right channel so it should be in my history uh the official story hopefully everybody's subscribing to just yeah, my if you haven't watched those videos from adrian go watch them and llt or ltt why do i say llt what is llt something um, a car or something. Hmm, where was that? I watched that report from the RCMP. Where is that? What are you laughing about? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> what? So funny. Uh, just your history. <laughs> well, remember, I fall asleep. <laughs> this is not me. This is uh, somebody's autoplay. My girlfriend's kids watch food stuff. So they fucked up my algorithm. <laughs> so, yeah, I probably shouldn't be sharing what I'm <laughs> a cheese roll. I don't know. Yeah. Where yeah, was as long As long as until Barney or something pops up. Then I'll then I'll have different feelings about you. Oh no! Did they take that video down? I think they may have taken that video down. I swear I downloaded it though. I wouldn't be surprised. Like the amount of four hundred four errors I've seen in the last week. Um, are you getting lots of four hundred fours on this specific stuff? Yo, yeah, yeah. Have you got a Just man sun... bun? No, not right now. I got sunglasses on. Oh, okay. I yeah. was going to say, I, I don't think we can be friends if you have a man bun. I can do that if you want. I even got a, I even got a little. I don't think I, yeah, I suppose I could. Oh, the ones I like to do are, I'll show you my favorites. <laughs> I was at some protest one time. There was an Antifa wearing a man bun. It's like, oh my. You need to go back to your basement. You paid off. Whoa. 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 Samurai. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah. It's my favorite. Does your hair grow fast? Yeah, it does grow pretty fast, actually. My wife's going to have to cut it here soon. Oh, she She's cuts your hair it. for you? Oh, yeah. Well, occasionally. Right now she has to, though. Sounds like there's a story there. Well, it's, you know, I'm very particular about my hair. So <laughs> sometimes I let her, and other times I'm like, well, no. RCMP... Oh, I've got to make sure I get that video. RCMP time. I'm going to go Workman. refill my coffee. All right. Time be right back. Workman. Uh, it was a video. Let's see if they're still going. Fuck. It's not in my history, so I think they may have deleted it. Um, 
well, there he is. This is a two-minute clip of it. Where was it? Ooh, that's rather interesting, isn't it? Unlisted. Why would the Canadian free press want to unlist this video? Do you, does anybody else find that a little odd? A death. I need all the help I can. My mother would tell you that. Ow. Do you find this a bit odd? That um, this is like a just a clip from Canadian Free Press, Canadian Free Press or Press Post Media, and they've unlisted this video. This is just a clip from the news conference. Why would you unlist Why? it? Wow, that seems very strange. What are they saying in this? Uh, well, we can watch it. I'm trying to find the full version of this because it's about it's about two hours or about. Is hour. this is this the new guy? Yeah. Leather out this guy in. Okay, there's a problem. There's a problem with that part because oh, yeah. this is the girlfriend, and the girlfriend hid in the woods, which Adrian rightfully pointed out, right? <clears throat> and we've talked about too is the freezing in the woods. The other guy he get, has to get treated for hypothermia after four hours. And she happens, yeah. man, you know, eight hours. She's okay, or apparently. We don't really know. He says like she didn't need to be treated, but it sounded more like for like she's just in shock or something. But the other part of that is the cell phone, because he says he gets the picture of the cop car from her phone, which is and say you know that they they didn't they needed confirmation or some nonsense to to confirm. Um that he had these cop cars, even though they knew about it clearly, right, from the funeral home well, guy. I also have one article that says uh, she told the police that he not only had uh, rifles, that he had handguns as well. Yeah, in the statement, it, it it says, from the RCMP, it says pistol, and and then a little further on it says pistols, lot yeah. plural. And uniform. When before we were told he only had a shotgun and a rifle or something, weren't we? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So he says, um, or he said, um, this, this individual, Leather's replacement, because Leather couldn't do the job. Um, and this guy does a pretty good job, I will say. It's like a lot of psychological warfare he does here. But mm -hmm. he says, uh, or he said, that they they got the photo from her cell phone. I don't know if he says it in here, but it has been reported. That's how they got it. And now, if she ran away from the house, and he and he had her cell phone, up, how did you get the cell phone? Number one, and number two, how why weren't you phoning them when you're out in the bush for eight hours? Number yeah. three. Um, he burned down the house. So if she didn't take the cell phone and just ran off in a panic, happened to get away, she returned to the house that was burnt to the ground and found her phone. Well, also, didn't he just say that he, they were, be, they were showing up because of a domestic, you know, dispute sort of thing. No. So they were, well, he oh. said something that about her being oh maybe he just said that she was tied up and beaten but i, I thought him said he said something about showing up to a domestic dispute or something 
Well, I, I believe that's the way they're, yes, you're right, you're right. And, and yet in the tweet, they're saying it's a weapons complaint, right? Mm -hmm. And and at, by that well, point, they'd the already too, like, found numerous bodies in the road, numerous bodies. Yeah. And they just left it at a weapons complaint. They didn't advise anybody. They didn't put out the emergency, obviously, ever. They never did put out the emergency thing. Let's go back and look well, and, Oh, sorry. No, no, go ahead. No, no, no. No, no, because you're going to play it, and then I want to make sure he actually says this. The giant stash of guns um, wasn't that he was proud. Well, I don't know if he was proud of it. That might be somebody else. But the, the st giant stash of guns saying is coming from the father who talked to Frank Magazine and said that. It, if police just had used, even gotten a search warrant. Um, I think I did see like a Facebook post that said something about that. Though. That he was proud of the giant stash of guns? Proud? Yeah, I think I did see something like that. Well, it would fit, right? I, I, I haven't seen it, so yeah, okay, it exists. It may, uh, yeah. The guy, the guy is a braggart, right? I mean, yeah. He, Police this, police that. He's clearly a basket case. On April 18th, the Not freezing. Following this, police received its first 911 call with a report of a shooting at a home in the area. It was only after 6.30 in the morning or daybreak when a, vic when a victim emerged from hiding after she had called 911. Our officers responded... So she called 911, so she had the phone the whole time. Yeah. Or went to somebody else's. I guess she could have gone to somebody else's house. But, but they... But, but they, they got the photo yeah, from her. Exactly. Well, that's what I was saying. Yeah, they got the photo from her phone, right? So she had to have had it. And this has she to didn't be go like back the, to the home. This has to be the first domestic dispute that I've ever heard of where the guy didn't kill the person that they were angry with, but then went off and killed other people. Yeah. Like, wouldn't she be the first target? Th this may be the very first time this has ever happened. There's always a first. And it was at that time that through a significant, that significant key witness, we confirmed more details about Gabriel Wilkins. This included the fact that he was in possession of a fully marked and equipped replica RCMP vehicle. Okay, but he knew about it. They knew about it for months in advance, according to the funeral home guy, who I think would they be... They also knew about it at 6.30 a.m. Well, that was just another one. But they told him, oh, I don't think, were you here when I did that? They uh, didn't. Probably have, not. So I found a guy, because I'd heard this little clip out of CBC, where they said, oh, police had had a tip months prior that he had this fully marked up police car. And, and so... I went then searching around, and I, yeah, sure enough, I did find articles saying it from the Star and from CBC, and I found the guy, and he's got a funeral home, and he was friends with Wartman, and um, he said that the that Wartman told him the police had come over, talked with him about it, and said, yep, you can have the car, and if you want to take it out, then just make sure, or not make sure, he, the, the police suggested that he didn't drive it on the road, that if he was going to take it out to put it on a trailer to take to car shows mm. months ahead of time. So, and he says in so much in this, in, in this, um, he contradicts himself a lot throughout this, um, news conference. And he says, he said that, uh, <clears throat> that, um, they needed confirmation of what they already knew. It's weird. Which and that he no was already a suspect, too. We, he bought these from a police auction. Well, uh, how can they even claim that car. he doesn't know? Sorry? 
how could they even claim that they don't know if he, they, if he bought them from a police auction? Because I've well, seen because tweets about that. What they're saying is that he did formerly buy older cars, but this one was um, brand new, right? They're mm -hmm. trying to say, oh, yeah, it's old, it's old, it's old. But it wasn't old. It was brand new. So then the question yeah. is, if it's a brand new vehicle, is it, in fact, like a full police interceptor? How did he get that? And there was some discussion that that's possible to do that from a mechanic who said, yes, you can do that if you buy a, quote, service vehicle. I don't know how... I've never investigated that, but I guess maybe you can buy a brand new police interceptor uh, Ford Taurus. I never. I think did. you can, but uh, like out here when they sell them, it doesn't come with anything on it. Anything. No, so and again, that's what they were saying. You can buy the vehicle, I, which was news to me. You can buy the vehicle, but it, obviously it wouldn't have any lights and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. um, Here's an interesting thought. Sorry? Here's an interesting thought. Okay. During the uh, G, was it the G20 that they had in Toronto? Yep. They bought a whole shit ton of vehicles for all these ambassadors and stuff that came in, right? Yep. They ended up selling all these. What if maybe he bought one of them? It's all because of Trudeau. It, why would it have a brand new sticker in a dealer sticker in the window? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what year was that? The G20. That would have been what? 2016? 2017? Oh, maybe it would have been I don't, that I don't think. Because he said months before. Yeah. I would be. I would love to talk with this funeral guy. I don't know if I'm. I'm not. I'm not a person who reaches out. But maybe. Maybe I, we can. I, I. I might. You're a star. And and we can talk with this guy and ask him. But I bet you dollars to donuts, he's not going to say anything. Yeah. He's not going to say boo. He won't agree to do anything. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think most people are going to be a little cautious on this because you look at the bumbling that's going on. You got to be a little afraid to go after that giant, I guess. I think they're threatening people. All the Facebook posts that are all disappearing. The the even the fire hall deleting their yeah. their post. Yeah. They're threatening people and and at the very end of this, he threatens because somebody asks him about this funeral home director. They don't say his name or anything, but they're talking about how did this guy know about it? And yeah. you guys didn't because he apparently says that the police went and uh, talked to him. So how does how did you guys not know that he had the cop car? And he's like, oh, if I want to see this person. I want to talk to this person. Yeah. He also learned that so he said one uniform, but he had multiple. Was at that time that police issued a bolo, which is a be on the lookout for. That's a bulletin which included the description of the suspect and the vehicle to all police agencies in Nova Scotia. The individual is a female, and that female was in a relationship over a course of a period of time uh, with the gunman. Um, that female did escape. And that female, as I indicated, had uh, hidden the woods. And that was the same individual that had key information for us uh, that was nested. Key information that you already knew about for months before, because he said that. He's like, oh, he, he they even knew? They had a list of suspects right when this all started. Mm -hmm. That it was war. Yeah. Yeah. Which, you know, they knew about it before... Uh, this lady, the the lady that Frank doxed, confirmed it. And more about Mr. Wardman and what he was incurring in possession of at that time. It was a significant incident. It was a significant assault. And uh, this individual female uh, did manage to escape. And uh, that. Oh, there's the guardrail. 
I wonder if it's damaged at all. Hmm. From, uh, yeah. Looks like it's been uh, cleaned up. The guardrail's not damaged. There's not even any soot on it. But his front hood was messed up. <clears throat> well, that's what they say. He got he got in a head-on collision with them, right? Uh oh, Ozzy's gonna have a heart attack again. <laughs> I'm very worried about Ozzy's physical health. That's not good. The poor foam too. It must be going deaf. <laughs> That no, no good at all. All right, let's see what else he says. I don't think he says much. He did manage to escape, and uh, that could very well have been uh, the catalyst to start the chain of events. However, we're, uh, we're not going to, to discount any possibility of any pre-planning at this time. So it, he really just says nothing, obviously. Yeah. yeah. They, they yeah. Just, it's this continuous nothing, nothing, nothing. It's fluff. It's filler. Uh, yeah, lots of filler. I swear I had this. I had it, watched it. I wonder if the RCMP has a, a YouTube channel. Just the facts. Winter driving. <laughs> okay, so then nothing on this one. How about just the facts? Mortman. You mean just the, the fake facts or their facts? Yeah. What is this one? Nope. I think it was here. I th I think it was on their official site. And they took it down. God damn them if they did. So it's not there. RCMP press conference. You know what's the worst part about all this too is there is a lot of good RCMP uh, members and staff and oh yeah absolutely this, this I, just I, puts know. such a bad light on the whole organization it's, we're not saying that but it's like there is an obviously a big problem here there it is CPAC all right I'm gonna make sure I download it but right at the end, I'll play the right at the end, and we can wrap it up. There's that. She stays. But Leather's got the boot. There's a couple other little things here where they, um, I'm, I'm going to do a video just on the, on the, uh, on this the. This would be uh, interesting. Yeah, it is. Well, we could go through it all now. Now, do you notice how they cut out this? The one, the, yeah. the one entrance in and the one entrance out. Yeah. They don't want people to know. It's because he went on a boat. He acknowledges that there's only one way in and one way out. But, I mean, it's it does something psychologically to you if you look at the map and you're like, how did he get out of there? You know, like you, you will start to ask the questions, but if you don't see it, and then he yeah. dismisses it by saying, well, yes, there is one way out, but like it, it's psychology because this is very easy to show. I mean, he doesn't need, all you'd have to do is like cut off this lower little piece here or even just change the resolution a little bit and, and you can show where the highway meets this road, but there, cause there is no other way out mm -hmm. other than them saying, come on through fellow officer um 
and uh, what was some other stuff? Right here at the end, there, there there was a question and answer period. So where was it here? A lot of the answers were just this fluid, dynamic nothingness. Did you use a handgun? The shooter also uh, used long guns. Um, so there was a I think that their RCMP issue and RCMP weapons come out of the United States because Canada doesn't sell certain types of weapons, right? Do you want me to give you a little bit of a, another angle that could be? Okay. Absolutely. So I'm not going to use any names because I don't want people to get in trouble, but I know someone who in their youth was involved with uh, moving illegal weapons. Mm -hmm. And this person was doing this with a uh, biker organization. Right. But as well was working with our CMP. So the RCMP were telling this biker organization where and when they could cross the border. Wow. My buddy would go and cross the border. He'd pick up weapons and bring them back. And then he would sell them. And at one point he said, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore. So he got pulled over. And... Uh, he, you know, he had weapons confiscated from him, went to jail, and that was how he had his, his change of heart, right? He didn't want to do it anymore. Well, a year later, he's driving, and uh, he gets pulled over again. And at this point, he's not doing this anymore. He's done. But uh, the RCMP say, oh, we're going to take you in. There's a weapon in your vehicle, a firearm in your vehicle. He says, well, no, I don't, I don't have anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. They take him to his trunk and they show, they show him there's the firearm in there. So he gets arrested, post bail, goes to trial. Mm -hmm. The day of trial, his lawyer gets information from someone that the firearm that they had, he has paperwork to show that they had it in prior possession a year ago. It was the weapon that they had confiscated from him a year prior when they arrested him. Mm -hmm. So this lawyer brings that to the judge. Judge looks at it, says, all right, take care, get out of here. Whoa. Case closed, done. So it's... There is some weird things and some bad things that go on in these organizations, and there's not all good people in them. No. No, and to think that is would be... So, like, that could even be where he got these firearms from. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe he got them from an RCMP contact. Who yeah. knows? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, I, and I, given his fetish with RCMP, I, it wouldn't surprise me that that he had RCMP weapons also. I think this guy was definitely into something shady, just aside from the financial ripoffs, which you have discovered a lot more of, right? Yeah, um, from talking with that Steve guy, it seems that guy led me to believe that this is something he's done to multiple people and that they've known about these scams that this guy's pulling with... Um, residences and rent residential scams basically and yet they don't take him down then either he's no. got friends i mean and his uncle is xrcmp well like and just so these people know like what type of person we're talking about here so this whole steven zinc story this guy uh you know got a loan from him to get him out of a hard time uh had a deal with wartman uh, Wartman, I think, really wanted him to screw up on his deal so that he could just take possession of the house, but this guy didn't. So Wartman had to get creative. He starts uh, building things on the property. 
And the guy who's the actual owner says, well, no, I don't want these windmills. No, I don't need my roof done. I just did it last year. Get the hell out of here. Pound sand. So then he goes to the Tennessee board and tells them, oh, well, I'm the legal title owner of the house right now. And my tenant isn't letting me make changes to my property. You need to have him removed. So the sheriff show up and they remove him and they tell him, listen, we know of this guy. Take it to court fight him in a civil suit you'll win you're right. not the first person he's done this to this is 15 years ago what does wartman do he gets a, two dumpster bins takes all the guy's stuff out of this house his clothes everything couches you name it this guy has nothing it's all in the house they he takes it throws it in garbage bins takes it to his office and does a yard sale at his office a dollar an item sells out this guy's whole whole property everything he owns so like this is the character of this guy type of guy he's not a good person he's yet he's in love with the rcmp he seems to have nothing but adoration for these people like why it usually bad people don't they're, they're not you know they don't admire the cops that's usually how it works so why does he have this adoration well it sounds like this was um lifelong right like he'd had this since he was uh, uh in high school yeah and i'm thinking that comes from from the uncle um and that's where yeah. it started and, and he's he's never he's never stopped loving the police and I noticed if you go to the uncle's Facebook page, he who is an RCMP officer, I believe, out of, well, possibly out of New Brunswick. I don't know. But definitely maybe in the same area. And he's RCMP. He has nothing about Stevenson. Zip. Mm. Nothing about the whatever happened down there. Zip. Nor does his friends, one of one of whom um, was, uh, and I haven't plugged through them too too deep. And frankly, I think it's probably going to get taken down if it hasn't already. I tried to archive it, but I don't. It doesn't work properly with Facebook. Yeah. And or at least I don't know how to properly. <laughs> and uh, one of his friends is uh, Cesis also. CSIS RCMP. So, I mean, now we're talking much higher level stuff, right? Mm -hmm. it, it sounds like this guy had some real powerful people in his corner. And I don't think they would let him go down, you know? Yeah. And uh, he little... would almost have to, to keep all of this stuff off the radar. Like, no regular Joe Blow is going to have four cruisers. No. I don't know anyone who would be allowed to do that. I don't know anybody. And they who knew about this. Money. Yeah. Well, that's not true. But I mean, you know, that's a lot of money to sink into cars. He had lots and lots of money. Lots of money. Yeah. Where's the money coming from? And somebody was saying in the chat earlier, I've heard this stuff about the marijuana. <coughs> That's coming up pretty like drugs, and sorry. Oh no, I was just gonna say like uh, he was kind of heavy into the whole residence, uh, like a whole bunch of properties. So that kind of does fit the narrative. I mean, usually people who have a lot of properties grow up. That's kind of yeah. Sometimes yeah. 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 And that was that 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 bridge gap loan was what thirty grand cash, mm -hmm. right? For that yep. one guy alone, and he said yep. there was a lot of these things going on, and then you've got uh, Tara, and the title search is all coming up with unknown two two properties that Blue did searches on, coming up with yeah Cage uh, yeah Cage was saying no there's multiple properties now. Yeah, no owners. No listed owner, which is really, like I said that to my mom, and she said, that's very odd. 
she did real estate law too. And, and she's yeah. like, I've never heard of that before. Not to say that it doesn't happen, but she'd never heard of it. And I'm like, I don't know. There's a lot of strangeness going on. I just wanted to get well, the... People uh, sign and do different things under duress too. So, I mean. Yes. And this guy sounds like an intimidating guy. I mean, you know, he, he beats people up. He beat his own dad up for fuck's sake. Well, there's Who stories I have uh, for no reason. There's there's a story I have that he had a party at his house. This was like ten years ago, and uh, he locked his wife and another wife out of the house because he was pissed at his wife or his girlfriend. Sorry, at the time, girlfriend or wife, whatever she you want to call her. Right. But he locked them out of the house for like two hours because he he was so mad and they were having a fight and he didn't want her to leave, so he just locked her out of the house. Or uh, they would get into fights, and he'd be the type of guy who would take all the tires off of the car so she couldn't go anywhere. Oh, my. And, and neighbors said, like, they would go and run and pick up stuff for her and bring it to her because, like, he would do stuff like this. Fitz, he'd wear a wife beater, eh? That's what I said. It's kind yeah. of fitting. Yeah. I couldn't believe when you said that that he took... I don't even know how that's possible to, because to legally evict somebody takes at least in Alberta, I think he, what it's three months, right? You have to give them yeah. notice. So I yeah. mean, he. But if uh, if you if the tenant is restricting you on making changes to your own property, I think you can push the process up by a month. Yeah, but think look, look, look who intervened on his behalf and had the man removed. Who was that? Mm -hmm. Darcy MP. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sounds like he's using favors gets the guy kicked out of his own house very short notice all of his stuff is there and then he takes all of his stuff he's such of such low grade character that he would take all of his stuff and just sell every single item off well and, and this guy's told me he said that he knew he was in a financial trouble and uh he knew that he was going through like marital problems with so he was having a fight with his spouse over his child over like uh custody so there was no way he could afford a legal battle so he knew he could do this and even if the guy would try and take him to court he knew he would win because he'll just outlast him in court but i mean who would sell off a person's clothes you said he had nothing, like absolutely nothing but the clothes yeah. on his back. That was what he was left that with. That was it. Like, how did he survive? He see, Yeah, he said that he lived at buddies' houses and bounced around and then left and came out to Alberta. Well, I'm glad he's in a better place and and hopefully he's back on his feet doing well. Yeah, he's yeah he's still working. Doing good. He does good work, though. He sent me some of the pictures of his work, and I was like, oh, man. He does a decent do, job. Uh, he doesn't do body striping. He does. does. He? he does body work. What, does he do car striping on cars? I don't know. He, it's, it's part of body work, I think, isn't it? <laughs> he wouldn't have done Wardman's car, would he? I asked him. He said no. Oh. Would, did he know if anybody would have? Um, he didn't say, but he did say that there was multiple people that knew he had it and like he would keep it at the, he'd keep his vehicles at the denture office. The, the Mark car. One of his, yeah. yeah. I, I think cause that, that inference that, uh, Blaze said I mean, was that it was the Mark car. The wife was driving around. Yeah. That's what I had heard too. Which, I'd saw, I saw like uh, I think Facebook posts that said she would drive around using it. Yeah, yeah, and I it, it was interesting that they um, they kind of got rid of that story, or they didn't get rid of it entirely, but they buried it about the fact that the car was still parked at the at the Halifax Dental Clinic, which isn't in his name. That's an interesting angle too. Who are these people that technically own the the two clinics? One of them has mm -hmm. three, and the other one has two people, but not Wartman himself by name. Yeah. Who are they? 
I'm gonna look. I'm gonna partners? dig into them. Sorry. Who are the partners? Yeah. What are they? You know, if the guy has so much money, why does he have partners? Mm. Why is it not in his own name? Yeah. So does he have like numbered companies, and he's using people for? Is he like Zer Garbage? You know who I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Zer Garbage, and yeah. he's got uh, all these front companies, front uh, people who are there to wash his cash. Yeah, that was kind of a vibe I was getting from the beginning. Um. Back to the house fires. Why dispose of evidence ASAP? What were the cops hiding? Exactly. Yeah. I got photos of them. Literally, they they have the hose putting out the fires. Yeah. While, while the bob, like, while the, <laughs> the bobcats working and the, the back goes in there working and they're putting fire out at the same time. Oh, did they haul it away? I mean, if they haul it away too, that's like that's World Trade Center type shit. I was, I was just gonna say that. Yeah, sell the steel off to China right away. <laughs> yeah, Let's get it on a truck and then get it on a boat. Go and recycle it. Oh yeah, we need to to. No, 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 no. You didn't. Yeah. You didn't check anything there. I'm sure. I'm sure the threat is here. I think it's right at the end. Somebody asked about the accelerant bombs. He didn't answer. Really. Well, here's the thing, too. With the uh, inspection of fires, it's not something that's like a process where you have the answer in a week, you know, two weeks, it, it could take a month before they have the results of what started a fire and, you know, how they, the amount of stuff that they have to look at and inspect is, is huge. So it's going to take them a long time to do those searches. Well, when you're destroying all the evidence the, hmm. the day of, or the next day, how are they supposed to do all these investigations properly? Oh, but they're investigating, don't you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're there, child. It's okay. We're investigating. Yeah. What a bunch of shit. Does somebody in the chat want to take that one on? Like, we should try and divvy up some duties, like, a little bit, because there's so many good people. Does somebody want to take true. on investigating the uh, deeds on the property and who they are, these other people? I don't even know. I, I just saw the names. That was it. Sorry? I was going to say, Ozzy, it would be interesting if you could find the name of who that was. Of the who? business partner. Oh, yeah. I sent your way a video downloaded from Facebook Twitter message. Oh. Uh, oh, yes. There's something in my Twitter box. Hold on one moment, please. How to download Facebook videos without software. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have a ton of issues, but I, with Facebook videos, but I will definitely watch that. It's, it's the archiving of the Facebook pages that doesn't work very well. Archive.org will not archive Facebook pages, and Archive.is will not. They'll only archive. A like a portion of it rather than the whole thing you have to do your own archiving well you you have to do screenshots and then try and piece yeah. them all together right so for like a friends list you're only going to get the top five you know five rows or four rows and that's it and like the uncle has i don't remember 150 some odd friends or something so mm. this is the last question where i believe uh, they ask him about the the funeral home fellow. 
they don't identify him, but they say, how do you, how did you, uh, if you knew about this car for months and somebody giving you this tip, did somebody give you this tip? And, and if so, then why? I'll, I'll let him ask. But that watch, watch the, the veiled threat, I believe, very veiled threat. Tell me if I'm out to lunch at the end. Why do you need to consider it? It's not consideration. You need it. You just inform people. I missed the threat. Here we go. I'll back it up. The former employer, which was the yeah the, the funeral. funeral. Look at him, watch him. Oh, you're not sharing it. Oh, shit, my apologies. <laughs> See, this is like me last time. Durr. Thank you. Thank yeah, you for reminding me of my dumbness. All right, here we go. How many people do I lose with my dumbness? I <laughs> Techno boomer retardo. All right, here we go. Is the audio coming through? Yep. He hasn't heard it. Ouch. I don't know. Hmm. Does that does that strike you as veiled? I'm gonna ask them to come forward. I'm gonna yeah, ask come them. forward. Yeah. Just just come on. Does that, does that not sound slightly intimidating? Either way, shut the fuck up. Sorry? A little bit. Yeah. And and it's not like he doesn't know. Toronto Star knew, CBC knew, 
the CBC knew and, and reported it both on television and in print. And I believe that's funnily enough, national post who's asking that. So they, they clearly knew I did. I just took two articles that mentioned it, but you know, they, they kind of tamped it down uh, unless you, you knew that you were looking for that. I, I don't think you, we would come across the articles just happenstance. They, they seem to be kind of pushed off to the side. Because mm -hmm. you had to, you had to do like you know the specific searching for former employer, police car, blah blah blah, to get the yeah. funeral home guy. But I bet you he's not going to say fucking shit if we ask him. Maybe, but I don't know. It seemed pretty threatening to me. Yeah, he, I mean, he might not, but. Most people I've reached out to, it's like 50-50 uh, whether they reach back, so. We're here for the boomerisms. Thanks, Hart. <laughs> I could have left up that video yesterday. The, the, the video I did, funnily enough, yesterday was, was a fucking awesome video. It's just I didn't show. <laughs> I, I thought I was showing all the videos and showing all the articles and pictures <laughs> while I was doing it. I actually, like was doing it well on my screen but of course i didn't share it so you know, you know why i like that because i usually watch some of your videos while i'm doing other stuff so I, like i have my phone in my pocket just listening i'm like oh he's not even showing the videos anyways this is perfect <laughs> <laughs> i'm not missing anything at all exactly yeah just, just listen it's awesome <laughs> yeah maybe i should just have a radio show that's it <sighs> Uh, I don't know. You can call yourself Danielle Steele. Danielle Steele? Where do you get that from? I'm like a she romance. has a radio show. Oh. I've never heard of Doom. Well, it's not Danielle Steele, but whatever, Danielle Smith, whatever the hell her name is. That, that's a good question Loretta asks. That would be an interesting angle, too. But I bet you... All of this is sealed up. Yeah, and they they do do that. I I've run plates before. I had had a police guy who was kind of helping me with stuff, and and he got in serious trouble for running a plate that um, they put under quote national security interests. And his boss called him and phoned him when he was on vacation down in Florida. I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck are you running this plate for?" And he's like, oh, I, I happen to see it somewhere. He's like, yeah, we're going to have a talk when you come back. <laughs> anyway. Uh. All right, well, I'm going to wrap well it up. Him. Yeah. I'm going to wrap it up. Do you have um, anything you'd like to touch on before we call it a night? No, just uh, if, if you guys find stuff out there that, you know, we haven't shown or talked about on here, send it to one of us. In, we're all on Twitter, so yeah. I got my email listed. You can email me. Get a hold of us. Yeah, I'll drop uh, I'll drop your guys' channels in here again. <clears throat> Copy. So this is Steve's channel. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, I'll grab his Twitter. Yeah, because at the end of this, like, we're trying to decipher all this bullshit that's out there, and it's going to take all of us. And just my stupid opinion. Who is no, not stupid? I didn't get informed of your video. Thank you, YouTube. I'll go. That's my that's my evening wind down. I'll watch your video. There you go. Gates Gates to our future. Is that yeah. uh, more about the? Oh yes, I did the robots and the Corona. Yeah, it's yeah. about the uh, cryptocurrency that they want to make us into. Uh... A, a basically a, a mining machine. Oh, maybe no. Then I haven't watched it. Okay, I'll I'll go and watch it. I'm getting mixed yeah. up with something else. Awesome. Um, and 
just my stupid opinion. I was watching him the other uh, video that he put out, and I was like, fuck man, that guy types fast. I'm a total, I, I absolutely am a techno idiot. <laughs> um, yeah, you built a computer, so. I, I can I can build them, yeah. I just, well, but this is, yeah, there seems to be a memory hole that I'm having issues with. Uh, it all started to get a little bit more funny three weeks ago. I don't know if that was just tinfoil or after that night. That was that was spooky, man. That night. Oh yeah, when they were shutting your channel down. Well, you had stuff happen to you too. Yeah, I couldn't get I couldn't get a stream started. Period. It took me forever. I know. I was like, it kept logging, and you're like, I could hear you, and you're like, is it working? Is <laughs> I, I had like, like five streams open when I came and logged in the next day. It's like there's five of them waiting to start. I'm like, this is so <laughs> fucked up. Uh. All right. I'm going to wrap it up then. Um, thanks ever so much, of course, as always, for joining me. And uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be in touch here soon. Awesome. Have a good night, All everybody. Right. Take care, everybody.